Yo, what up, gamers? Welcome to episode number one of my Nyla to Diamond series. This game we're going to be playing Nyla ADC with Nautilus and to Caitlyn and Timo. Uh, I had the foresight to run cleanse in this matchup since it was clearly going to be Timo's support. So we benefit a lot from the cleanse in this matchup just to remove the blinds so we can actually deal damage. Uh, I didn't have the foresight to actually, though, to switch my runes to resolve. So I could run Second Wind, which is really useful on Nyla if you're into double range matchups. So Nyla's a champion who actually excels into low range stuff, especially melees. So melee supports, she is really good into. Range supports like Teemo, not so much. You're going to be taking, like you see, a lot of punishment. And until Nyla lands a hook, there's not going to be much return. <coughs> Damage that we can deal. So a lot of the laning phase is just getting punished, and you just have to try and maintain as much HP as possible. So second wind is is really good for that, so you don't have to miss too much farm while you're trying to preserve HP. This could be good. Okay. Oh, Timo missed his blind. Hmm. We'll back off for now. That was good, though. So if Nautilus can land another hook soon. This one should kill if it lands. Gonna level the W now. Now we're actually a lot stronger than them in early fights. We really want to fight, but I need to. I need Lotus to hit and engage first. There we go. Perfect. Might as well remove that. Oh, I thought she already lost that. Hang on. Still got it though. There we go. Hmm, my bad. I, I generally thought she'd already flash for some reason. Must have been her E, I guess. Some sort of guy closer to confuse me there. <laughs> that or maybe her heal, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's been a pretty solid start. This is already like the worst part of the laning phase over, so we got through that plenty fine without using second wind, which is good. I think Kaelin probably could have done a better job of trying to punish me. But obviously it didn't happen this time around. Definitely the team as well could have been... Uh, walking up further and actually pressuring me instead of just sitting at the back, going to stealth. We'll wait for the refillable here. Nice. Okay, so there's a lot of Nyla builds that you can run right now. Uh, I think the one that I'm going to be testing in this game is... is, is I'm just going to test the um, standard, most common build on her right now, which is just Skill Force and the Collector. But in future games in this video, we're also going to test out less popular builds, one of which I think might be better, which is going to be Lethality Nyla. But uh, we'll cover that when we actually play that. Getting a gank from Makai in. Just gotta wait out. The Teemo blind. Nice one. Huge. Missed the cannon, but that's fine. We're also just in a really good spot here to just shove this wave ASAP as well and make Kaelin miss even more farm. Ow. There we go. My passive Q should be hitting pretty much every minion here, which is perfect. Getting every minion as much as I can. Uh, instead of going for the plating, we'll go for this Drake just to make sure our team can secure that. Seems like Aurelia might be on the way. Yeah, she's somewhere behind us. I don't know when the Blast Gun spawns, but I don't think she's using it anyway. Nice one. <coughs> Alright, that's a can wave. Hopefully it'll take them a while to shove it. Just need the base. No. Okay, we'll just do Zilvrush, I guess. Kind of an awkward build path on the Gil Force. Would have preferred even if I could do Cloak and Longsword, because I don't like having no, no AD here, but... This is better than uh, Longsword and Dagger for sure. Would it be better if I could have afforded the BF Sword? 
But yeah, the Berserker's Rush is really nice though. It just makes it harder for Caitlyn to try and kite me. I mentioned, I mentioned this a lot, but anytime there's a range differential on the lane, that Berserker's Rush is really good. So Caitlyn should be doing the same. Right now, she's really, really slow. That makes her really vulnerable to me. So again, we're just waiting for the Nautilus to engage. Not much else to do right now. Nice try. I've actually nearly got ult, so once I've got ult, I suppose I'll just try going in here. Wait, I couldn't see kill in there. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Should be able to get her now. I've got cleanse for the next demo blind. Got him. Nice one. <laughs> Oh, Nautilus. Oh well. Should be able to get the splitting easily. Maybe the next one as well. Pella does push turrets pretty fast. Because the extra damage from a Q actually does apply to the turrets and you get that extra attack speed as well. Yeah, it's pretty slow, but faster than most ADCs would do it for sure. And it's a solo plating, so I would say that very much paid off. Would have had the uh, BF sword here either way, but... In the long term, that 175 extra gold should help. And now we actually have some AD. So we may miss some farm here, but realistically, if they shove this as fast as they could... But yeah, so we're not actually going to miss much farm here, even though we should have. But I think realistically, we would have missed uh, most of this farm anyway, just by going for the first plating. So it was e I think that situation was either go for no platings or go for two platings. And in the end, I just get the uh, best of both worlds, because I ended up getting the plating, but not actually losing any farm. Nice. A W is just like waiting out the Teemo. Oh, okay. Come on. There we go. Nearly got E back up. Not sure I want to actually go back in on him though, yeah. Too close to the turret. Oh well. Job will done either way. So, I mean, honestly, Nala's just really, really busted, especially in lower elos, but I think even in high elo, her win rate has gone up, whereas she's always had a really, really good win rate in lower elos. So, basically, what Nala is, is she's an ADC who counters other ADCs. Uh, so, that's naturally just very fitting for bot lane. I would imagine her win rate actually into mage bot laners is not amazing, but, I mean, nobody plays mage bot laners, right? So... Like, you are just, you are just genuinely at an advantage if you play Nala. She's a really good pick for climbing. So far has never been weak in solo queue, always super strong. And she's especially good into those low range supports, but I mean, as you can see. I mean, Timo, Timo is sort of like low range, he's, you know, long, uh, low range autos. But it's mainly melee supports that she excels into, stuff that she can even harass without her support having to engage or without her having to overstep, just because the support has to get near her if they want to lasso with the relic shield or whatever. And stuff that she hasn't doesn't have to like dive in deep to deal damage for against. Gonna start maxing the E now. There's actually a really good win rate on E Max Nilo, which we'll definitely try out at some point in this video as well. But I'm not sure exactly when you would want to run it. Something we'll have to experiment with. But for the first game, we're just gonna do full standard. Just gonna get all this farm. We can definitely kill her here. Mm, we're not gonna get that though. Ow. Yep. Oh, I was really hoping to have predicted the Vikey there, but I guess it must have been a cooldown at the time. Oh well. I hate Vi, man. Such a little counterplay. Oh, she was also really fat as well, to be fair. 
Judge had better items than me, which I didn't know. So I probably should have just played that fully safe. Anyway, gonna be going for the collector next. This build is gonna give us a lot of burst. Gonna make it real easy to get kills in this Caitlyn. Not that we're struggling with that, but it's gonna make it even easier. Ideally, if she was playing optimally, she would not have this many deaths, but it would become a lot harder for her now to try and survive us. Don't even need to use the girl force this time. Just completely one-sided, like she can't even fight back, it's ridiculous. She had a massive wave there as well, but the wave can't even hit me because I'm dodging their autos too. You have to play very, very respectfully against Anella. Did she dash on... Yeah, her allied minis, I thought so. I couldn't remember. I don't actually play Anella much. I, I literally, actually, I don't think I've played her since her release, pretty much. We'll base again for now, I think. I've got Serrated Dirk. <laughs> I mean, Nautilus could go wrong, though. He's foolish people, mana. I can... I hardly imagine he's got something worth basing for here. Did he get anything? I don't think he got anything. Maybe just replenish his wards. Well, yeah, he must have. I'm sure he's just placed some wards. Still, he could have gone roaming. Is that Vion Drake? That is indeed Vion Drake. I want to soak up this wave first before anything else. But uh, Timo could be on the lane somewhere, by the way. Gotta hit Timo. There we go. Pop a potion. Oh, I missed. Come on. God, these shrooms, bro. Okay, she's eventually gonna get hit. Oh, uh, but it goes to Makai. Oh, well. Okay, that was a bit unfortunate. Oh, wait, we got the Drake. Okay, never mind then. That is way too close to me. Yeah, that engage is just ridiculously effective with that ultimate. Nala would be a formidable uh, opponent for ADCs to deal with, deal with if she didn't have an engage, like an ultimate that helps her engage. But she does, like, so it's just completely one-sided. You just tank the turret here. Perfect. And so this game we're playing with Nautilus, who is an engaged support. This is perfect if you're playing against double ranged. But the supports that Nell actually has the most synergy with are actually Enchanters, because she just gets extra healing and shielding from them. Even if they use those things on, her, on themselves, actually, she still benefits from that. She still gets a percentage of it, and I think also amplifies it for her supports as well. So this is the best kind of supports for her, but it works. that works especially well, I think, if you're facing melee supports. But if you're facing double ranged like this lane, then I think definitely a support like Nautilus is a lot better. Just so you can actually fight back before the level 6. Because then you can actually just play around the Nautilus and Nautilus's engages. You can see she also has a very easy time just farming camps. At any stage of the game. Always has the wave core for it. I don't know if she saw us there or not. Okay. Looks good to go bot. Not that I have an easy time pressuring this turret anyway. I might just go bot myself. Yeah. Never mind. Well, uh, actually, I don't know why I really based there. Yeah, we'll try and kill Caitlyn. Instead of letting her get this free objective bounty. Ooh. He needs to alter if he wants her to stop getting this turret. Ah, it's fine. Probably should have responded to her sooner. Moment. We'll definitely want Bloodthirster third to deal with, uh, you know, get some extra sustain to deal with all these team mushrooms.
Speaking of sustain though, already got 5% from Bloodline. And where does she get her lifesteal from? Yeah, so I'm also getting 18% armor pen from my passive. And 11% healing from my passive as well. Attacks against champions. Okay, that's only against champions though, not against minions. So it's not like good for regenerating between waves. It's just purely against champions, which is nice. But we'd rather actually build some real life still to recover from team mushrooms. Since team mushrooms, you should basically consider them, consider them like Xerath poke, right? They are unavoidable poke. You don't know when they're going to poke you, but at some point they're going to hit you. That is a fact. This was useless, by the way. Whoops. My W doesn't do anything against his blind. I'm just used to playing Samira. <laughs> So I'm actually level 12. I'm actually one level up on Lux. It's a really weird passive that Nyla has that just gives her free XP. But it, it technically it makes it so it's like she's almost always the most efficient person to be taking farm in a lane because she's going to duplicate all the XP. Oh, okay. That's going to be GG for this game. Barely even got to test the build, but it will. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Nala at the Diamond. Where it looks like we might have to give up red, because the enemies just choose to late invade onto our jungler. Oh. Do I flash through here? I don't think so. I don't think that would be smart. Uh, I can get the Yumi, though, I guess. Just start the E for that. No. There we go. Hope it goes just to be sure. Okay, well, I guess overall that's worth it for our team, for sure. Uh, no, we can't leash. He started W anyway, so he should be fine. Wow, this ghost actually helped me get into lane in time to make sure I don't miss farm. Well, I'm, I miss farm, but I don't miss XP at least. Anyway, I think this game we're going to be testing the Emax because it feels perfect for this matchup. Uh, it's going to have more burst than Qmax, and it's also got more mobility because it drastically reduces the cooldown of each E charge. And at the moment, in a matchup like this, where we're going to be facing a fellow Yumi, don't ask me why Yumi is TP, by the way, because I do not have an answer for you. Okay. Yeah, I think this matchup is going to be very much focused on just pure burst and trying to, sp like, spam kill that Aphelios. Ooh. Yep, I guess we kill Yumi again. Perfect. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, let's shove this in on base. I've got way too much gold already. There we go. Gotta go more less hits there, but it will. We could cheese, that is absolutely true. But I would rather just get Berserkers, especially because I don't think they're actually going to end up past this minion, past this line. Which means they're going to be in a pretty safe spot. I'll just buy a pink and just drop it in this brush and just keep it there all game, I guess. Gonna be awkward being here as Ramos is doing golems. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just passing through. <laughs> yeah, the advantage of Emax over Qmax is just more burst and more mobility. Uh, the damage that you gain from putting points in Q is actually literally only five damage per Q. You do get more of an uh, more of a AD. Ratio increase when you put put points in it as well, but obviously that's more of a mid to late game thing than an early game thing. The more items you have, the more significant that is. Uh, so we're gonna try either th either full max E or three points in E than max Q, because I think probably what is like the best of both worlds is probably just three points in E and max Q. But I think this game we're just gonna test out the full E max. Here we go. Immediate gap close. Damn, didn't get him. Hopefully I can get her, though. We got the Berserkers, so... There we go. We have an easy as hell time stacking the Conqueror. Does a lot of damage for us. Ends up dealing a lot of sustain if these fights were to be at all close, which they're not. 
Definitely want to run the Conqueror on Nyla every game. I also uh, would not run... Um, what's it called? Uh, Resolve here for the second wind on Nyla in a matchup like this. Just purely because for the most part, I'm only really getting harassed by Aphelios. So Yumi Q's I can dodge. And if I don't, you know, they're still on a fairly large cooldown. She doesn't really regularly detach to Pookie with autos like Rain's supports otherwise would. So it's basically just an Aphelios harass lane, which I don't think second wind is... Necessary for... Oh, here we go. Okay, we might be in trouble here. We'll see. Get some dodges on the pike there. Hmm. I think we win this, though. Yeah, we've already won it. Just need to back off now, though. I nearly got E back up. This is what I mean. That extra, sustain, uh, extra mobility, I mean. Okay, let's not risk it since Spike isn't following up. If he was, like, charging our Q, I would have dashed in there, but... Maybe it's not up, maybe he's a pussy, I don't know. But either way, I want to try and be on the same page with him as possible. So we're, ju we're just gonna base. Can already get the BF sword, and we'll just get one dagger. Don't want to wait. Or however much gold. Gonna be testing out just once again this uh, Girl Frost build. Since we didn't, the previous game did not really last long enough. But I think this is the last game we'll test it in, uh, or at least for now, before we move on to other builds. Also, went ahead and started the coldest game, also because I figured, you know, Fellow Yumi has just got to be such little cold pressure that this has got to be worth it. So once I have level 6, I'm extremely confident I wouldn't be 2 here. Without level 6, not so confident. But I'm nearly there. And we're getting solo XP, well, we usually do anyways, Nyla, to be fair. Okay, we can go ahead now. We got the level 6. Perfect. Just completely brainless solids. <laughs> this champion is uh, ridiculously easy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It should take some getting used to, I guess. Like, I'm not really fully um, like used to playing a sort of melee ADC. It's not really my style. Not something I do often, but... Mechanically, there's not much to her. And her place, her playstyle once like once you like are sort of aware of her win conditions is basically just find the right moment to all in, then you all in and you always win. Really hard to fuck it up. It is like, they have to make some massive outplay to beat Nala and an all in because her all ins are just like really fucking good. Alright, we got enough plannings there, let's back off now. I think they got that without me. Yeah, Rengar's top. Just died. Don't need to help there. We'll just go ahead and get another longsword as well. This will eventually build into Collector. I'm fairly certain I will have Gil for some next base anyway, so... I'm not worried about potentially delaying it. Okay, so if they're not level 6, then I can definitely just all in here without ultimate. Okay. That's fine. We could just flash auto. Yeah, let's do it. He needed to leave at some point. You can see my E is up now. This is... There would still be like 12 more seconds of cooldown on it if I had 0 points in it. That's how dramatic a difference the points in E do. I'll show you exactly how much it is. It's... um. The reduction goes from 26 seconds to 12, so at this point I'm getting 10.5 second cooldown reduction on E, which means 10.5 seconds to get the one E charge, and then to get the full charges, there's a reduction of 20 seconds, 21 seconds right now, which is insane. It is just a much stronger early ability than Q, whereas Q probably does scale better. But the scaling does not matter quite as much because it kicks in so late. That's why I'm saying that at the very least, three three points in E has to be optimal. Has to be. And then it's just a matter of is it worth finishing maxing it? Or is it better to uh, switch to Q max at that point? And I don't know because I don't play enough Nyla for that. And I don't think there's much data on it.
We could maybe try and make a plan with Zed. I'll stand far back where... Hopefully he doesn't see me and maybe tries to make a play on Vagar. Is he going to? Oh. My bad. I'll leave this. I'll just go bot. Make sure Phyllis doesn't get free platings. Uh-oh. Ooh, the patience on the pike hook. I know if I was here, he's smart. There's only one place I could be. So I could have just pushed this as slowly as possible to deny a ton of farm from a fellows, but uh, rather than trying to maximize the amount of farm I deny him, I'd rather just shove that out ASAP and just get back to other lanes to try and impact those other lanes ASAP, than try and make a fellows even more behind. Oh, come on, no way. Wait, that heals even though it doesn't hit anybody? I thought I actually needed to hit someone. I feel it should have been bought. Although in hindsight, I suppose it maybe works out fine that he came here just because his Zed got pushed out of lane, but he didn't know that when he started heading here. Oh. Okay. I suppose I could have go first onto him. Nice. Don't know if I really needed to use that go for us, so well. Figured I would use it once, because I don't think I used it a single time in the previous game. Don't have W, so let's play it safe here. I've actually done zero damage with cut down this game. <laughs> I thought I, I thought maybe a fellas would start during his blade, and that would be enough, but nope. Haven't done anything onto Zed, haven't done anything onto fellas, nothing onto Yumi. To be fair, I don't know what Nala's base HP is like. I should have paid attention to that at the level 1. It might not be worth doing it just for the level 1 cutdown damage. Okay. That's fine. We can sell coal here for a collector. So I think the best third item here for sure is just going to be Shield Bow. I think the best third item is between Shield Bow and Bloodthirster, depending on whether you want more damage or whether you want more survivability. Against the Zed and the Rengar, more survivability should be the way to go. The most common popular, uh, most, well, sec, no, th yeah, the most common item to do third on Nyla is Lord Dominic's. I don't think that's worth it compared to either Bloodthirst or Shield Bow though. Maybe like as a direct response to armor builders, but you already get plenty of armor pen from your passive anyway. I get that like it's it's nice to stack armor pen, but it's just really not necessary if they're not building it. Which he gets a lot out of in combat sustain. Just makes her absolutely unkillable. Speaking of which, I've already done 209 healing with Conqueror, which is more than any other ADC gets, because she stacks it like she's melee. So she gets access to that super fast. Looks like we're getting a free turret here. It's fine. Okay. Nice one. Got him. If I didn't flash on him, he would eventually escape. To be fair, I'm at the point where I'm fed enough that I probably don't need to flash after random kills, but it's nice. See if I can steal any of this. Yep. I can steal the blue. Awesome. Nothing here, though. That's cool. You can definitely go for this trick. Oh man, no throw for me. I 
So some people might ask about the Ravenous Hydra Thread, by the way, uh, since they used to be fairly common on her in, pre in previous patches before the item update. I don't think it's worth it compared to the alternatives. Maybe you could do it as a sixth item once you've already built Bloodthirster and Shield Bow, if you really don't need Armor Pen, just to get some third source of sustain. But I don't, like, compared to Shield Bow and Bloodthirster, I think it's probably the worst option of the three. This could be an easy kill. Nice one. I mean, the build does feel powerful. That is for sure. Nice one. Yeah, I'm just... Well, yeah, I can already base for Shield Bow. Could be worth it. Oh, okay, there's the Surrender. <laughs> I feel like I did get a better feel for the build in this game, at least than the previous one, though. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Nyla the Diamond. This game we are going to be playing Nyla Twitch into Lucian Lux, playing against double ranged on both of them with a decent amount of poke. Long ranged poke without a engage support to try and back us up. So this game we're definitely going to be running second wind, which should give us a lot of healing. I believe it's nerfed for range champions, but again because Nyla actually counts as a melee, we're going to be getting full benefit from that and should help us out a lot in the laning phase. Nice pressure from the Twitch. I can't really do much to follow it up without my E. Ideally, I want level 3 before I fully start committing. Unless, like, I mean, um, if it's going to be more than just a regular trade, if it's just going to be an all-in, we can just do it even at level 2, because we have plenty of damage then. But if it's going to be a trade, we ideally want level 3, so we can have E, the gap close, Q to DPS, and W also just to block their damage. Oh. <coughs> Oh, yeah, 12 healing. Well, 13. It keeps going up. What? That was a crazy amount of healing from that. 16. Okay, now it's done. Finally. That was a crazy amount of healing for like one hit, though. You still obviously want to minimize the amount of damage you actually take, but this really helps a lot. Uh, It's going to be too late now, actually. Unfortunately, that was just far too close to, like, far too far away from me, really, for me to follow up properly. If he'd actually ignited, I actually probably could have just dived on Lucian and got the kill. Oh, wait, actually, no, they haven't actually used heal. Oh, come on, I'm so close to level 3. If I only had level 3 here, I could have just fought Lucian and won, probably. Okay, if Twitch approaches in stealth, we could actually win a fight. But he's gonna go mid. He might be better on me now because I didn't follow it up. I need to get out of here actually. Yeah, no, too much minion aggro there, my bad. I want to use Q here if I don't have to. We can conserve mana and also not splash AoE onto the wave, which would mess up some of the lost hits. Okay, we kind of need to shove this next wave. Hopefully this works out fine. I got W if I need to avoid their damage, but they should, if they play this right, if they get here in time, they should probably just be able to deny me from shoving this. Okay, looks like we're fine though. Perfect. The wave is too big for them to freeze as well. <coughs> okay, so in this game we're going to be testing the Lethality Nyla. The build we're going to be doing since the Yomu's nerf is just going to be Eclipse. Eclipse was always really strong on her and didn't actually get nerfed in the previous patch. We can, we can do boots here instead of a uh, refillable, I guess. But since they're both double squishy on bot lane, then squishy-ish, uh, Yone, and then Poppy with with um, phase rush might not be going full tank, and Renekton also 
isn't guaranteed to go full tank either. There's a decent chance most of their comp will end up squishy, squishy-ish, so we won't regret no going full crit, which is full DPS. Should be a cull on him. No, I can't not Okay, we still got it. Well, we got it somehow, but I will. Oh, hello. Might actually be able to beat her. Maybe not with that. What? No, oh, I was so close, bro. I'm so gonna regret this, aren't I? No, so okay, I mean, at least I got the kill. But damn, that could have gone so much better. Did Poppy flash out? Did she just walk away? I don't remember. Hang on. I got this, this. Let me see. But definitely without that Lux flashing in though, I think, um... Would have been a lot less close. Because it would have been isolated 1v1 with the Poppy for a longer time. You know, Poppy didn't flash away, she just walked away. Bit unfortunate. But I, I think I needed to dash in that direction just to avoid... Oh, Lucian has no dash, we need to go in here. Oh, dash came back up, I guess. We'll just use both these to get back into this wave. Nice. So only one CS down on Lucian is pretty good for a melee versus range matchup. Especially one where we should outscale pretty nicely. Ideally, I want Twitch to be standing pretty far back and just randomly stealth onto them at any point. Then as he is engaging, I can double dash onto Lucian as well. Yeah, this is good. Also got the J4 incoming. Oh. They, see, they seem to have vision on the J4, yeah. Ironically, probably worked. It, probably would have worked out better if it was just me and Twitch. Because I was hoping for an engage even before I saw the J4. Guess the vision and both of these brushes? Huh, I never dropped the mini Negro whether I was in there or there. Nice one. I want to get too close to the turret there. Okay, that's fine. Well done. Extremely easy engages. And very little counterplay because I'm either dodging their autos or I'm knocking them up or both. They only have very limited windows to fight back and by then the fight is already lost. And bear in mind, Nella doesn't really fall off. But she's not really like an early game champion either. Like she's basically an all-rounder. She's actually like the most all-rounder champion I've ever seen. We could uh, trade one for one here under turret, honestly. Oh no, what? Well, that sucked. I didn't expect uh, Twitch to execute. He barely did any damage there. Um, okay, we'll get this and double longsword. Whether we're going to lethal it or not, uh, attack speed is very nice on Nala. You can leave that wave. That wave will fix itself. It's too close to the turret. Oh, it's Nila. I didn't even know her... She says her own name. Okay, that really clears up her pronunciation. Good to know. I'm probably still gonna call her Nyla though. Okay, I think Lux might be basing, so when Lucian gets into lane here, we're about to get ult back. Should be an easy engage onto him. His only escape is pretty much to flash out of it, because I've got a second dash to make up for his first dash if I gap close onto him once. Hmm. 
Hmm. If I block his auto with my W, I don't think a Storm Wizard goes off. Nice, no cannon for him. He's playing it really safe, though. So I'm gonna go play some Vision. Just want to keep the aggro and all the minions that want to walk too far away from them. Ah, one blocked off. FF it. There we go. Good enough for a freeze at least. We should not be showing in vision. This is a really bad mistake. You should be pretending like he's not even on the lane. Now it's really telegraph for Lucian that he's actually making a stealth play, you know? Okay, I kind of fucked that up, but whatever. Oh, I thought she was going to hit me with that. My bad. Mm. Okay. Ah, how does the kills keep going to Twitch? Oh, well, whatever. I definitely messed that up, though. You can actually leave that. This wave will uh, keep pushing towards us and result in a freeze. You should just go roam, if anything. Uh, he's, all, he's pretty much neutralized the wave state now. At this point, it's going to push towards them. Which means the wave state is bad for me now. Instead of loss hitting, if he wants to do, like, if he wants to be getting himself ahead, what he could do is just try and gank another lane. Where he gets himself ahead and also another laner. Instead, he loss hits the low HP minions, but forces him to die early. Somehow this is still pushing towards- oh, Lux used the okay. <laughs> this Lux also has terrible support macro. <laughs> Thank god. Illusion has no flash either, right? Yeah, even if you're not playing a support- uh, stealth support like Twitch. The worst thing to do is just show yourself. Like, at least try and sit in a brush or something. Don't just be, like, right in vision, you know? Instead of sitting here, try and sit here. Try and sit here. Try and sit here. Try and sit there. I don't know, anywhere, but it's visibly in the lane. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what happened there? Hmm. I don't know if Lux is low or not. Do you think she's... Well, I definitely can't risk fighting here without ult, at least. But I would assume he did something with his death, right? Nope, she's still pretty high HP. Weird. Fair enough. Potentially got a J4 engage coming. Nice one. Ah, oh, I keep get. I'm just the uh, assist central this game, sadly. <laughs> Oh well. Still better than nothing. Don't steal that farm. Oh my god. I could see his intent, man. At least I got enough for my Eclipse either way. Look at that, we got a 340 healing from uh, second win. It's gonna skill terribly though, but it helps us a lot in the early game. Just to make sure we're healthy enough to make our plays. You can either run as well, revitalize, or overgrowth with it. I think it's not too important. I think both historically have had very similar win rates whenever I've checked. Um, I think we'll still refillable for a long sword. We don't really need that too much at the moment. So now we're just... Uh, Transition to a traditional crypt build. This is just identical to a crypt build, except that you just start off with a lethality mythic, that's all. You don't actually follow it up with lethality items like you would on Misfortune. some turret damage here. Uh, well, I guess turret damage just turns into a full turret. Nice one. I don't want to bother rotating meta. I got free farm and a free turret here. Oh, what? Lucian and Lux were duoing Drake? Unless Poppy was a part of that and then just left. That is so weird. If, uh... 
they were actually just doing it. I just assumed they based, which was weird in itself, but like if he had an item he could base for. It would, he wouldn't have had it though with those components to be fair. Unless he just forgot to buy on his previous base. This should be good. <laughs> oh no. Oh, J4, okay. <laughs> just barely got that assist. Can go bot. Or do we want to fight here? Nope. Then we go bot. Unless... Okay, looks like there actually might be a fight. No, it looks like there won't be. Is there? I don't know. It, it is impossible to tell, man. I'm just going bot. Fuck it. This wool day won't day is just stressing me out so hard. It's like I'm watching a fucking cringy teenage rom rom-com show. Oh, my bad. Got another dash. There we go. <laughs> that flash. Shame about giving him a free throw, though. I just took too long. My team needs to either commit, like, or either we fight and I stay mid for it, or we're not fighting and we just back off. Like, they kept, like, they kept positioning so aggressively forwards that it's like, fuck, I know the enemies can engage on them at any second, but they don't have to engage as long as I'm there, but as soon as I leave, they can do it. So my team needs to back off. I should have just ignored them, though. The right call was to ignore it. If there was an, if there was a fight not immediately breaking out, then we just ignore it and go bot. And it's my team's fault if they can engage down. We want to be as efficient as possible, not fucking moving back and forth, deciding what we want to do. We want to be decisive. So figure out what the highest percentage move is, which in that case was just doing bot. We can actually steal a lot here. We know Poppy isn't bot side. We could save ourselves some HP by using W, but I'd probably save it for a fight. Um, I don't feel confident enough to fight Lucian on this HP, at least not without ult. But maybe I can jump on him, actually. Oh, okay. If I got the jump on him, then it's easy. Actually, not so much. Let's get out of here. No, he just barely got on range. Oh, well. My bad. Lucian needs to get out. Was that a big shutdown? Nah, it wasn't even a shutdown at all. Not bad. Yeah, a lot of unspent gold on my behalf there. Would have been completely one-sided if I had that gold spent. But I think for sure here I miscalculated going in on him. I clearly did not have the damage to burst him down there. My, and my W was completely wasted here as well, I just kind of panicked on that. The W doesn't block his ultimate, it only blocks auto, so if I'd just been more patient with that... So, definitely I played this wrong. If I actually played it right, I made the right choice to actually fight him. I, knew, I mean, I did know that I could beat him 1v1, I just misplayed it, honestly. Uh, the W was completely wasted. I needed to wait until after his ultimate was over, and then I activate W, and then he has no way to finish me off. But the way I played it, my W was an in, like just a, a complete waste. I wasn't taking magic damage, I wasn't dodging autos, and I didn't need the movement speed. If I had proper W usage, I could have played the fight like worse in many other ways and I still would have won it. That was the one thing that I needed to do right and I just messed it up. Anyway, we got the two item parse back right now, we're really strong. Damn it. Um. But now I don't think anybody's coming for me, so we're just gonna push. We take this turret really fast as well. Tar uh, Nala's actually super fast at taking turrets. I wonder if she might even just be faster than Jinx, I'm not sure. Definitely faster in DPS than Tristana is. Tristana's overall better at sieging, though. Nala's range holds her back, but when there's nobody actually pressuring her off a turret, that's when she shines, and is definitely better than Tristana. We try and cheese Lux here? Never mind, she didn't walk into us. All good, we'll just go mid for now. So now we go for either Bloodthirster or Shield Bow. I think, hmm. I might do Bloodthirster this game because Renekton has shield removal anyway, so... 
We not, might not actually benefit too much from it here. Oh god. Fuck. Get the Yone, please. I swear to god. Oh no, I think he's gonna die. And not kill Yone. <laughs> Fuck. That was terrible. <laughs> My bad, partially. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's a little bit unfortunate to add my W protecting me there, but it doesn't do anything against the Lucian ult again. And I couldn't really dodge the Lucian ult while I was getting ulted by Yone, and I couldn't really avoid the Yone ult unless I wanted also my ultimate not to hit. So that was just a bit of an awkward fight, I think. Maybe the move was just to go on Lucian instead? At least if I'm ulting Lucian, then he can't ult me. Or at least it will be quickly cancelled out. Could do something about this Poppy though. Nice one. Did not need to use W again. I just completely misused his ability constantly. I need to get better at that. This could be good, though. Nearly got him. Nice one. This collector is actually paying off hard. We're doing a lot of damage right now. This is definitely... So without the Gale Force active, like, we do not do this much auto attack damage, I believe. Our DPS is... Definitely feels for me higher with this build, even though it doesn't give crit and it doesn't give attack speed, the uh, Eclipse, at least. Or at least, I mean, it's definitely burstier, for sure. And those long... And those short-term engages, it's burstier without having to rely on the... Uh, Nice. <laughs> on the uh, Guild Frost Burst. Uh, the Guild Frost Active, which is on such a high cooldown compared to the 6 second cooldown of the Eclipse. Definitely more damage onto turrets as well. Because you can't crit turrets, so part of the stats of Guild Frost are wasted there. We should be able to win this, I believe. She is very tanky, actually. I need to go on Luck. She's going to die way faster. Oh, come on. Hang on. Nice one. Still have cleanse in case we needed that, but we shouldn't do. Perfect. It takes forever to kill that puppy, actually. This is actually a game where maybe we should actually do Lord Dominix. Uh, this Nebronecton is also building some armor, so you know what? Might not be the worst call. I think we do that. We're ahead enough as well that I think we can just go... For well, hang on. Got him. Oh, ah, I had W, didn't I? My bad. Yeah, okay. Um, no, actually, we're so ahead that I can just get get away with just building survivability, I think. So we'll just, just do Bloodthirster. But, you know, it's a damage tool for sure, but obviously not going to do more damage to Poppy. The main advantage of Bloodthirster will just be more healing. And we can just uh, transition into Lord Dominic's after. So currently getting 18% armor penetration from Q, and also 18% armor pen from Lost Whisper. And they both combine... Wait, what? Oh, because I'm also getting Eclipse. Okay, that makes more sense, yeah. So I'm... Okay, so it's 8% from Eclipse. 18% from Lost Whisper. And then 18% from my Q passive. All combining because it's multiplicative. No, not multiplicative. I'm not sure what the word is, but... Uh, all adds up to 38% total. Actually, maybe multiplicative is the word. I'm not sure. I'm not a math guy. I knew he wasn't going to commit to me, so I'm not going to bother trying to hit him too much. I just want to farm. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Wait, I didn't mean to hit that minion. My bad. Nice one. That, that is huge burst. Holy crap. Can't dash on her yet. We wait for it to run out. There we go. Yeah, okay. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> yeah, you, I miss. I think I misuse uh, Nyla W a lot just because I'm really used to using Samira W in similar contexts, which uh, actually does block stuff like Lucian Ult, but obviously not Nyla W. Oh, God. Okay, we got her. I was hoping my burst would be enough alone, but thankfully we had Twitch there as well. Ooh. This is getting cocky. He saw me turret diving the Lux, thought he could do the same to Lucian. 
But you also get the survivability from Eclipse as well. That uh, six second shield is actually really good too. Am I in trouble here? Okay, we use the W. I need to go on Yone if anything. Ah, uh, but I'm screwed no matter what if I guess CC'd like that. I think at least running can dice here. Nope, never mind. Okay, that's an AD Twitch, okay. Thought that was gonna be a huge burst from a Z, but he's not AP, so no such thing. Oh boy. We should be fine. <coughs> Yeah, so we activate the W. At least temporarily avoids the Renekton W. Did he actually stun me there? Or was that just the uh, Yone Q that CC'd me? But yeah, sadly, Yone had the third Q stacked. Uh, otherwise, I think this actually works out pretty well for me. Because if I can just turn on to Yone, you've seen what my burst is like. I kill Yone really fast. So if I can take out Yone out of the fight immediately, then it, I pretty much turn it into a 1v1 with Yone. Because I just dash onto him and he doesn't third dash onto me. And then I can try and 1v1 Renekton. It might work out. It might not. I'm not sure. Because I think I probably could 1v1 Renekton. The issue is that Yone is going to quickly join as well. So I need to take down whoever I can kill first. Whereas Renekton would be a lot tankier. So we needed to kill Yone first. But unfortunately with that third Yone Q being up already. I just get CC'd in one shot. Anyway, 25% armor pen from our Q now, and 15% life steal onto champions. On top of the 23% life steal we have, even aside from, you know, onto everything, including champions as well. Let's go for the wolves here. If they're up. Yep, nice. Final item, definitely gonna be shield bow. Renekton or no Renekton should be cost really efficient most of the time at least. Is he gonna try and find me? He is. I should have activated W sooner, my bad. That was bad reaction time. And I missed my Q, didn't I? Still really easy though, even though I keep missing Q. It's not even that easy if I keep missing Q, apparently. Never mind. God damn it. How did I miss Q every time? Let's see. So I did not activate W here in time, that's just for reflexes. I should have avoided, like, two, at least one out of there, maybe two. He's coming up here, then he just dashes. He, what did he dash with me? Oh, he used Gale Force. Okay, I'm going to forgive myself for that one. That was pretty unexpected. He had no reason to Gale Force there. Oh, no, but I even, it didn't even miss there. He Gale Forced backwards, then my ultimate knocked him back. And, okay, so I all played myself, basically. My ultimate knocked him from here to here. And then I queued here because I didn't expect that. It's basically the Norian ult, so if he's on the right side of me, he's going to be knocked to the left side of me. i got to count for that next time. Like I said, I'm not very experienced on Nyla. Nila. Nila. Yes, thank you for the reminder, Nila. But I think I actually could have beaten him at the end anyway if I just realized I actually had E off cooldown already. I could have actually dashed him twice, that might have been enough burst, I'm not sure. I only realized as I was dying that I had another re, but I didn't have time to cast it. Uh, we're kind of trolling as a team, by the way. I haven't seen us grouped in a while. We should have been able to do Baron Ages go with Thin Hip down. These have not been farmed all game. This is squishy as hell. Oh, I didn't ult the Lucian, sadly. I needed to knock him into my melee range, otherwise there was no shot. Not bad. Thought I might be alone with Poppy there, then when Lux showed up, I thought I was alone with Poppy and Lux, and then Lucian shows up. Maybe I could have just dashed out. Mm, no, I had my dash on cooldown, so that's a bit unfortunate. I was pretty committed there at that point. Did I have any information that they were coming topside? So we see Yone went from bot to mid. We know, obviously, Poppy went from bot to mid. I mean, somebody at least should have been pushing bot wave. That is for sure. So that was 
if it's, they just straight up chose not to, that's just poor macro from them. Because they had no reason to actually respond to anything. They didn't have to go to Baron or anything. Half my team is dead. We weren't going to duo Baron. Yeah, I think by the time I used that second dash on Poppy, it was pretty understandable from my POV. Only then did Lux appear in Vision, and then and only then did Lucian appear as well. I think probably, though, just once again, I probably didn't use my W perfectly. Uh, I used it fine in the 1v1, but it, like I didn't need it for the 1v1. I easily beat Poppy whether I used W or not. I should have saved it for an emergency, like Lucian showing up. Lucian or Yone or whoever. Actually, Yone might have been dead, but whoever, you know? If I can easily stomp Poppy without... Ooh, we can dash with the Poppy here, I guess. Never mind, no need. If I can easily stun Poppy without my W, there's no need to cast it just to stall on her. Um, you can do either Baron or Inhead, other one should be fine. It's only Lucian alive. But definitely, the more range champions they have, the better Guild Force would be, actually, I feel like. Because there's... The, at least that time, I could have definitely killed Lucian if I just Guild Force onto him, you know? But I couldn't connect the ultimate with him because I was out of dashes. Yeah, let's leave this. We've had enough unsuccessful turret dives, I think. Okay, Drake is up, we'll take that. And the wolves. Getting pretty close to shield, but I haven't been getting much farm lately. God, that's a lot of damage with that Q. Don't activate E. I that was a useless flash, holy crap. I just completely panicked because all the recent fights <laughs> got screwed. Oh wait, that was a Penta? What? How did that happen? I didn't even notice that. I don't even Oh, I killed Yone with Death Stance into Collector. Okay, that makes sense. Or I don't know who it was actually. I killed somebody with that combo though. Okay, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Nala the Diamond. This game we're gonna be playing. Nala Yumi, into Zidrwani, no, not into Zidrwani, that's my jungler, into Jin Swain. That was a hell of a leash for Zidrwani, actually, because my autos count as melee autos for her. Yeah, we're playing with Yumi, so even though we're facing a double range bot lane, I feel like we probably can sustain through all that just with her heals and shields. Swain is trying to melee range me for some reason. We're gonna pop the ghost because we know she should be able to get a kill here. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, if you just walk into melee range of Nyla, a melee champ, that's not gonna end well for you. With ghost, we can just just ensure that even like the only way he could actually escape us is by flashing, and then we can just flash after him. It's no biggie. I even canceled an auto there, which actually cost me a lot there, but still able to get the kill. Oh, no, 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 that turret shot. Fuck, I didn't think that would put me into a range. My bad. That sucks. Okay, we'll get double longsword. Drop an MB in the chat. Yeah, so I mean, I was committed to using in him, because definitely at the time that I made this decision to on him, I was not going to be in turret range, but I wasn't actually in range. I'm not too accustomed to the Nala E range. And by the time he ulted me, by that point, I actually was in range. So, whoops. Needed to be more adaptable in my decision making there. He's so annoying. I can try and get him here, though. Yeah, definitely won't be a kill, but it's a lot of poke. Actually, is it a kill? Wow, it is. He should have just not cast IQ. That was way too risky. Okay, let's shut this in real fast. We're kind of low here. Nice one. 
But anyway, yeah, as Nyla Yumi, we are pretty much one of the best Bolins in the game. I think it's possibly also maybe Nyla's best support that you could run besides Tarek. Tarek is going to be especially good into melee uh, support lanes, but if even if you're not facing melee support... Uh, actually, I think we'll test the lethality bolt again here, so we'll do this. I think probably, though, even if you're not facing a melee support, Tarek Nyla has got to be maybe the best support for her. Absolutely one of the best ballins in the game, if not the best ballin in the game. Uh, but maybe into range, it could be that Yumi is actually better. It definitely helps you survive the lane more easily. If you happen to not be able to find too many good engages, you can actually just farm up and be fine in the late game. Also, something I think I was trying to touch upon in the previous game, but I didn't get around to finishing it, was... Um, Nella is like one of the most all-rounder champions I've literally ever seen in League of Legends. If you look at her win rate over time graph, there's like a 1% win rate difference between her early game and her late game. Uh... Whereas for like any other champion I've seen, like who are considered all rounders, it would be like a three to two percent win rate difference. That Yumi had no reason to detach there. Holy crap! Oh, th I could actually get a kill on Swain here though. Oop. There we go. That was the fourth shot. What the hell? Probably dead here. But let's try and run. Okay, we tried. God damn it! That sucks. They definitely did not fight that just because Rexile was in our jungle. That was just incredibly unlucky timing. Yeah, we'll just get another long side. I would rather prioritize Berserkers, but I would rather prioritize the components of Eclipse, if that makes sense. By this point, I'm probably just going to end up rushing Eclipse. It should be a really good item to rush anyway with that shield and the movement speed. <clears throat> Here she comes again. Ooh, she might be in trouble though. She looks very dead there. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it was worth the risk, especially like if she, she could have just probably waited for me, honestly. This human is taking far too long to get onto lane. Where is she going? Come on, bro. You can try and get the Swain. Oh, that actually reaches me. Okay, let's get out of here actually. Puppy Ghost just to be safe. Yumi, Yumi, what? Like, I could have died there just because she didn't shield me. Ah, that's really annoying. Oh, I gotta get away from his flash range. Oh, nice. Ow. Should have him in the end, though. I've nearly got W as well. Back up. Oh, this is risky. We have no vision of Swain. Okay, nice triumph will save me here for sure. We nearly got dash. Perfect. Okay, really risky situation, but we got through it. We definitely got absolutely carried there as well by the Emacs. We got like two extra, like at least one extra dash there. Well, um, I mean, we might have, we probably should have been able to kill uh, Ginny the way, but we definitely would not have had the Swain kill without that Emacs for sure. The wave clear on Emacs is actually really good as well. Alright, if we could get, like, two platings, I'm not going to be able to get the platings, though. But if I could, that would be Eclipse. I guess we're just going to have to settle for Berserkers. I think I'm fine here, maybe. Actually, I might not be. <laughs> he actually nailed every single one, goddamn. My bad. I just needed to dodge at least one and it would have been fine. Whoops. That sucks. I did not expect to get killed there. Did he also only just hit level 6? Because I'm not even level 6 yet. No, he was already level 6, which is kind of surprising, considering he's not the champion that gets free XP. But I guess it's just because Swain has been out of lane for so long, just because he's died a lot. So Jin has had a lot of solo XP, actually. And I've also died more than Jin as well. So I've also been out of lane more, even if I have similar CS. God, I really want to get level 6, but I don't know if I can. We're just going to have to fight without level 6. Oh, there, there's also a Pentheon here. No, we want to give that, I think, then. Hmm... This should be good. Oh, but I was meant to be able to dash. Fuck. I'm gonna flash away. Wait, you mean to dash again? God damn it, you me. Oh, I hate her. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I don't know what happened there exactly. I was trying to... So my idea actually here was to E onto Rek'Sai, which would take me to safety. I don't know why I ended up autoing. 
I guess I just had an auto keyed after my CC, but I was sp I was spamming either. That's really sad. I had an easy escape there. Oh well. It was for sure a mistake of Rek'Sai to engage on me there. Too many to stop taking damage while I'm not here, man. I'm gonna ignore most of that. I want to try and get kills here if possible, or at least delay bases. Okay. But if I actually win this, yeah, definitely not pulled into the turret. Let's get out of here. He, how? What? Like, how is he a prediction god? What? The thing that made the most sense was to shoot a W upwards. Because if I if I if he predicts me juking down as he did, I can just walk out of the ultimate. It makes zero sense. Like a, you can, at least the first ones, you have to shoot upwards. And if you see that I'm trying to juke them, then you can try and predict the juke. But it's so risky to do that. Like what? At this point, I gotta wonder if it's a script that is only like shooting ultimates when I choose my. Juking direction? I don't know. That seems unlikely, though. He's just gotta be like the luckiest Jin Ulter in the world. Anyway, we kind of got screwed there by Swain just being able to flash out. Oh god. Does he have help here? Can't quite finish him off. Yet, at least. Here we go. Nice one. It could, couldn't just let it be, could he? <laughs> he was doing so well. Now he handed me over a free shutdown. Damn it. This guy's level six. Let's maybe back off here, actually. We're fine. Got him. Yep. Nice. I figured if he wanted to try and kill me there, he had to overcommit. Because I could clear that wave so fast and then just leave. Oh, god damn it. Does he have vision, do you think? Or was that again just the luck? Oh, come on. I thought Sidroni was engaging there. Okay, we'll just stick around then. I mean, that's a bit awkward. I would say just leave it now, though. We don't want to get greedy. I've got far too much gold to spend. What? Oh, he's trying to slow me. Okay, well, this is not scripting, clearly, unless he just didn't have vision. This might be awkward. Actually, I don't. I didn't need to do that second dash. Uh, yes, I did. My bad. Got one shot there. Oh, I got hit by Jin W. That's why I was locked down for so long. No, I should have uh, not tried to go aggressive on Rex either. Thought because she was taking through herself, we'd be able to kill her, but the Pantheon W into Jin W was too crazy of a lockdown. Ooh, that's not good. See if I can maybe just choose a kill here with my dashes. Probably should be able to, unless oh god damn it, that storm is there. Uh, come on. Should be able to get him eventually. Oh god damn it. Okay, we're just gonna turn on Swain for now. I wasted my W actually. Come on. Oh, that movement speed. I'm so tilted. I'm so screwed now. Actually. Actually, if I just landed that Q, I actually would have killed him because I would have had the Eclipse Shield. But yeah, my bad. That Storm was just added the hell out of me. What was Yumi actually? She was dead from something. Oh, she just added to Johnny there. Okay. That exhaust actually screwed me so hard because eventually there was. If I didn't get slowed by anything there, eventually he would have died. There was no escape from it. They had no more slows except for apparently that one summoner. 
Plus. Uh, do I need to go top here? Um, no. Uh, Kayla's still actually playing the game. I was worried she might be AFK. Hopefully she can actually defend against that. I feel like it's just a really big risk not to go bot here where there's clearly about to be a fight. Uh, Sidrani just let herself get engaged on though. Which is really bad. I don't have ult so I can't carry this fight. And Jin should be arriving soon as well. Oh, this blows. Come on. God damn, I missed my Q. Okay, I should be fine now. I hope. But I need vision. Oh, but I can't risk approaching the brush because I'm going to get stunned by Panther in a one-shot is the thing. Nice. That just queued an auto for me. That's weird. Yeah, we just ended up letting Pantheon escape. It is what it is. I needed vision in that brush, minimum. Couldn't risk approaching it. Does he have a shutdown? God, he had a massive shutdown. Maybe I should have just risked the trading one for one. I'm really sad about that. But I wasn't sure what his W cooldown was. And I know I just got one shot if I get hit by it. What the hell? I'll use W here. I'll try and block the shots for kill. Black Bay ultimate. Come on. Yeah, I got him. That was a massive shutdown, actually. Probably could have played that better. I'll check it in a sec. What do we want to do here? I think shield both thirds should be really good. They have a really bursty comp. Maybe even resolve, actually, with conditioning could have been good against this comp, actually. I think that E was probably useless, but I suppose it didn't do much to hurt. I don't really have much time to revive it. I don't know if I actually could have done much different besides maybe a different W timing. I think the ultimate was as perfectly timed as it could be, because it CC'd them a lot. Oh, I should have gone bot actually, my bad. Okay, so she can knock me up with that. Nice. Can I guess Swain? Probably not. He does have Rallies as well, so he's gonna cut me hard as hell. I could probably get this Lush this Jin, sorry though, if I have double dash and he doesn't have Storm Razor. Nope. Okay, exhaust again. This time we get him, thank god. Let's go. This collector is so good at securing kills, man. <laughs> she missed. Dude, I came buff a farm, and then Lux just comes bot and steals. Tries to steal farm, at least. Okay, Yumi. She also wants to steal farm. We need 400 more gold. Well, 350. Yeah, part of the benefit of Eclipse as well is CDR as well. Pretty underrated stat on Nyla. If you miss Q, you get... Well, you get more DPS on your Q no matter what. We'll pop W right before we get stunned. Perfect. Another huge shutdown. And it goes to us with the Collector. God damn. Yeah, uh, you just straight up get more DPS on your Q because you're going to have a lower cooldown on it. And if you have to miss your Q, which means you lose a lot of DPS from the Q passive. Let's try and fight this. Look at that damage. Crazy. Ah, I couldn't get that kill with Q. But yeah, if you happen to miss your Q, so you would miss out on the Q DPS, you get to make up for it sooner because your Q is going to come up again sooner, so you'll get a second chance at getting your Q DPS. Let's move over for this fight. I shouldn't have used W. This is Troll. Got her. Because we know we just stomp this fight no matter what, we can actually afford to chase the Rex either and ignore Pantheon. I'll try and base after this. If we, on the other hand, were really worried about the Pantheon, we would need to kill him first and then just let the Rex I escape. Nah, that, that's already gone anyway. Let's just push mid. I got so much gold now. Holy crap. 
I think actually maybe GA fourth could be the call here to deal with their burst. Either that or death stance. It's all physical based burst. It's fine. Let's go ahead and spend the gold finally. I got 16 kills but like no farm it's so funny. All of my kills just randomly came within like the past 5 minutes. Oh, could she kill him? Fuck, I was gonna cancel my base there to try and help her in this fight. And she could not kill him, apparently. Not with my- not without my help. Um... Yeah, let's do the GA, I think. Let's pull the trigger on that. Fuck, I'm really close to it. But I can't quite get it just by selling Doran's Blade. Like, if we're gonna be waiting anyway, might as well wait while getting some farm. Or I can't be everywhere at once, come on guys. Don't know why there was only one person defending mid. Come on. Oh, my Q just barely didn't go off. How is he not dead to collect there? I've got red buff. That's crazy. I feel like he should have been dead there. Yeah, for a 2v5, that was not too bad. It's a shame that I just wasted my J, though. Hello. Oh, God damn it. How do I still get rooted there? Thank God. Okay, he's dead. Let's heal it all up. And flank the- What was that, Sidrani? What? Okay, Rek'Sai is still getting into a killable position for some reason. I guess. Nice one. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, but that 2v5 should have been way more effective than that. It looked kind of trolled, but my thought process was uh, with the ultimate. I just activated it right before I get CC'd. Eventually, their DPS on me while I'm CC'd will get interrupted. So they won't get much effectiveness out of that. And then once the ultimate is over, then I activate W and then they can't auto-attack me for 2.25 seconds as well. So a lot of that 2v5, I'm actually spending not getting burst down fast enough while I'm still dealing a lot of damage. The So it, it was a solid enough logic that we didn't just get stomped, but it still wasn't the fair fight win that I wanted. Fuck's sake, hang on. We get him. That should have been better as well, my bad. We get him. Okay, let's get this Baron now. You can see the scaling from this Nala Yumi is absolutely fucking crazy. Struggled a bit harder in lane than we would have if we had like a Nautilus or something. But, I mean, this is absolutely insane. The scaling hard pays off. And even in lane, we didn't play perfect. So we would have actually had a much easier time as well if we did. Make sure Jin doesn't steal this. I don't know if Johnny had to smite there or not. I have no turrets. Literally only one. Gonna use W to ignore this damage. Nice. Oh, hello. We don't necessarily want to fight here. If we die, if we get aced, it could be really bad for us with uh, already missing an inhib. Ooh. So I don't, I just barely don't have ult, we, and we don't have kill. I really think we should don't, we should not fight yet. Oh, and I can get full build. I already get the blood thruster. I forgot. It's so cheap now. Nice. So we got 397. Holy shit, I'm full blood at level 13. God damn, my blood, th my blood thruster has barely even started scaling. Okay, so what I'm curious about now is whether it's actually worth selling my... Uh... 
Eclipse for something else. I could do either Gale Force or Infinity Edge or Navori. I think both. I think maybe both Infinity Edge and Navori might scale better than Gale Force, but Gale Force is also really good on them ahead, so I can just flash on people. Well, not flash on them, but dash on them and kill them. Like, it's so easy to just kill Jin if I Gale Force onto him. I think I'll do Gale Force. Oh my god. How is this guy not dead yet? There we go. Ooh, and I nearly had Jin as well. Fuck. If I just killed Jack so much sooner, I could have done run to Jin sooner as well. Okay, not bad. You did to activate W and ultimate together that time, because I was getting focused by too many people who wouldn't get knocked out by my ultimate. Uh-oh. She is so screwed. Almost killed him back, though. Did she hit the passive on him? No, she actually could have killed him if she'd just done that sooner. Wait, he might still die to minions. Ah, he dropped the aggro. Oh, well. Alright, let's do this. But I think for raw damage... I imagine Navori and Infinity... Well, I mean, number, uh, like, obviously Infinity Edge is going to be better, right? But Navori is also going to be really crazy. I don't know, actually, which is better between Navori and Infinity Edge. The other one should be really good on Nyla. You get a ton of dashes with your E when you have Navori as well. It's a shame you can't build them together anymore. It's just easy. Nice one. Like, unless they were already grouped as three there, there's just no way. Pantheon could come and help, but it's gonna be too late to help the Swain. And if nobody else is with Pantheon, I could easily win that as well. We'll just go directly onto Jin here. Basically a one-shot. <laughs> Disgusting champion, Nyla. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's just push bot. Dude! Didn't even break the shield. Remember, we're getting 15% amplifier on shields. On top of all, of, all, of all the healing that we have and some resistances from GA, unless their team is full AD. It's just crazy. Like, Swain is a good skilling champion as well, but he just does nothing. Dies too fast, does not do any damage to us. Actually, with Rek'Sai popping up, let's not dive him. Nice one. Hmm, my kid didn't actually hit anything there. But I still one-shot him. That's fine. Jack's trying to back door. Could it work? Maybe. I think I'll just play it safe in base. Oh, is Kill actually beating him? She is beating him. Holy crap, never mind. She has had enough of getting bullied by this Jax. My E just missed again there, that's weird. But I'm, I'm doing the EQ combo, so it's, it's, not, it don't, like, it's not like I can miss, right? It's targeted, it should be hitting. <laughs> this one hit. Got him. She can't push me into the Nexus, so I'm fine. Oh, I can't reach her. Okay, get me out, get me out. Ah, ha, ha, I'm so screwed here. God. Oh, I've got GA. Nice, not too bad then. Oh, no. <laughs> but these minions are getting away from me as well. Nope. That didn't work. That ultimate ends instantly. Goddamn. Okay, that sucks. It's really hard to close the gap on the gen, sadly. When I don't have Yumi with me for the mobility. But yeah, that uh, Sidrani really screwed me as well by just running away there. Because here should be an easy kill onto Rek'Sai, but she just takes Rek'Sai away from me. So Rek'Sai lives and I was pathing towards Rek'Sai for nothing, which got me killed as well. Okay, at this point we can solve the GA. What do we want? I guess that stance should be really good. Ridiculously good. Maybe even better than GA, we'll find out. It's gonna be really good for anti-burst.
<clears throat> oh, they got it. I'm still only level 15, that's crazy, man. I've been full built for ages. Now we got 16 at least. Her AD is still ever going up thanks to the blood pistol. This could be another free kill. Oh, of course, I can dash onto my own minions. I forgot about that. It's a useful tool I haven't been abusing enough. Could have killed him without Sidroni as well, I think. Got him. I barely even needed to ult there, actually. Focus for Xi because she's not invulnerable. Boom. Would be a quadra if I hadn't killed Swain so early. Yeah, I mean, Nala is pretty much like gonna be scaling or early game, dependent on what your support is. If your support is Yumi, then she's like a hard counter to ADCs, but more late game focused. Which is ridiculous, you know, a hard counter to ADCs in lane and then outskills them as well, but it is what it is. And then if you have a, like a Nautilus, because Nautilus is really good early game, your early game is going to be really good. You're going to be a lane focused, you know, pair, but then you're going to fall off late game as a pair. Anyway, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Nyla to Diamond. This game we are playing Nyla, Nami, into Jin Vokas. So we have a small leash there, head into lane here. Gonna be a hardish matchup, I would say, because we're facing double ranged, and Volkaz is the kind of ranged that is, you know, really long ranged. We're gonna struggle closing the gap onto him, and once we do, he also has the chance to try and disengage with his knockup. So we're definitely running second win in this matchup. Gonna be very necessary, most likely. Probably taking far too much poker actually. Let's back off. Even as Nila can't actually match the level two there when I don't have pressure. All I feel is joy. If I didn't if I didn't have the leash, then we could have actually rushed the level two in this matchup, which would have helped a lot. Why did Namila set that? <laughs> damn it. Oh, damn it, I thought I was not gonna get that my bad. And now I've wasted a dash right before we're about to get a gank, that's so unlucky. Uh, use Ghost and just go on to Volkas here. Okay, we need to back off here. I'm gonna take far too much damage from Jin otherwise. Okay, in the end, only having one dash didn't really screw me too hard there. Full. I'm about to get W. Fuck, I thought he was about to get knocked up there. Okay, he just wasted his fourth shot though, that was terrible. I'm about to get Triumph, so I'm not as unhealthy as I look. Perfect, huge. And we got a lot of Conquer healing there as usual. Like straight up, without that Conquer healing, I'm not sure we even survived there. It's just crazy how good this rune is on uh, on Nila. I'm trying to get used to the pronunciation. <coughs> hmm, I think we'll do Gil Force this game. So even if that uh, Eclipse build, which feels pretty nice to be fair, is actually the best build on Nyla, I would say there's definitely still an element of like situationalness to it. Because it's probably like better to tank your comps, I want to say. Where the armor pen makes a bigger difference and the percentage HP based damage makes a bigger difference. And where you're facing melee so you can easily proc the damage. Whereas into comps that are mostly ranged like here, I think the Gil Force will really pay off really hard. 
And I think whether I was going the Gulf Force build or the uh, Eclipse build, I think either way I would probably want to rush Berserkers. It's just too nice not to. But we're definitely going to go for Gulf Force. It's facing triple range comp, where the Gulf Force will be really nice for closing that gap and just one-shotting people once we get our lead. And it'll help us get that lead as well. What the hell? Damn it. Should not have missed that cannon. We'll dash onto him right before the... Root happens? Okay. Try and keep the uh, Conqueror up. Now we just switch back onto Jin. We're probably gonna die here. Okay, we get the kill though. I'll have to flash that to survive. Okay, I'm fine now. Should be fine. <laughs> Nami. No! <laughs> if she just hit that, fuck. My bad. I was hoping he just wouldn't have cooldowns in time. I should have just played it safe, honestly. Oh well. Um. Actually, right, so we can get the quick look. That'll be better. 5% armor pan, 3% extra healing in combat. It actually is really cost efficient to build crit on Nyla. This is terrible lost hitting Nami. <laughs> she, honestly, like, she couldn't crash the wave anyway, so she may as well have just left it. Should have been pinging her off. This, help, this, shove, this shoving only helps if she actually crashes it and makes Jin miss some farm. She made him miss nothing. She just made me miss even more. Ah, I did that too late, my bad. Ah, oh, goddammit, I didn't miss the farm. Uh, actually, I don't have any wards to place. I don't have any backup on bot side. Let's not risk venturing into Master Yi. No mana, sorry. <laughs> not as big an issue as her missing the easy bubble. <laughs> I w so I could all in here. I think I would win that, but I don't want to risk it when we don't have Vision of Master Yi. Here we go. My bad? No way. No, my bad. Fuck, that sucks. Ah, uh, you're kidding me, man. That was a little bit unfortunate. God. I, am, I have terrible luck with these turret shots as well, with this and the Nila E as well. Well, I mean, I suppose I just shouldn't have dashed. At least not like that. I suppose I could have dashed onto the cannon if I just directed it properly and I still would have done damage to Jin, but that was a bit of a risk as well, because I might have just missed. Uh, maybe I can kill Volkos here. Yeah, he should be dead here. Never mind, maybe not. He must have used his knockup, otherwise he'd be using it. There we go, nice. Worth missing some farm for. Not have too much to base for right now. I'd rather base for BF sort if possible. The Scuttle Crab seems to be gone. Yeah, it's spawning on the other side soon. Yeah, we could do Drake actually. That's a really good call. Okay, that pink is not really in a great position because it's not even throwing vision from that ward. It should be deeper into the pit always. Yeah, so actually, I suppose turning here might be the best call. This is level 6 though, this is really risky if this goes bad. Oh, Nami's so low. We also seem to have uh, our mid laner not having power on mid lane, I guess we have to give it. Don't know if I want to base though. Shouldn't be alone here though. I can barely farm a turret by myself, I think. 
Okay, they're not really pressuring me too hard, thank god. Ow. Gotta remember, by the way, that depending on the fight, I can use my E to try and dodge out of the Valka's ult. Even onto my own minions. Oh. The wrong thing there, my bad. I thought it would aggro the other minion. Are they actually basing here? I think they might be just because Jin has not been pressuring me. Oh, for fuck's sake. That Jim trap screwed me so hard there. I got... Oh, let's just kill him. Wait, oh no, I don't have... Wait, what? Wait, what? I accidentally put a point in Q instead of ult. What? I saw that I was level 6, I assumed I had ult. My bad. Why on earth did I do that? Fuck. Wait, that's so awkward. That would have healed me, it would have been a lot of burst. It would have CC'd him. God. That was a mishap. I even dodged the knockup, that should have been completely free. My bad. I completely froze once I realized that I didn't have ult. <laughs> Worst part is Valkos did not know that I didn't have ult, so he just straight up made a mistake and did not go punished. Okay, Dilly. Yeah, we definitely can't fight until level 7. Ow, what the hell was that? That Q alone must have dealt like fucking 800 damage between me and Nami together. Oh, and she's dead. Sucks. Suppose I can get this for some extra farm. Oh, this is really tanky actually. I can start cutting it a little bit. Yeah, that took forever to farm, goddamn. Nice. I had flash still if I... If I felt I needed that. Can we get a little bit of healing here? We risk it to try and join this though, especially with this mini wave, which would just aggro onto me immediately. But we can try and go stand now, I think. I immediately get slowed, of course I do. Ooh. Nah, with nobody else taking aggro, I just can't do anything there. Sad. It didn't flash away, that could have been a kill. another kill. And this time, actually, to me. Why though? I'm sitting there waiting for it to get low so I can set it, and boom, he takes it. But I can get at least one plating here. I'm gonna leave it at that. The next one would be a shared plating anyway. I'm really happy about the solo plating. Oh, I sh knew I should have pinged her not to touch the wave. I was thinking about it, but she wasn't. She showed no signs of wanting to auto attack it, so I was like, yeah, it's all good. Now she is actually def definitely actively trying to push that wave when there's no need for that. There's no need to try and loss hit that melee. Is she maxing bubble? That was a lot of damage on her bubble. Alright, we can try on all in. Nice. Especially now that I dodged that. Oh, god damn it. I missed my Q as well, my bad. Ah, uh, that sucked. That was the Volka's Q, but immediately got hit by Volka, er, uh, by Jin W. We never had Nami even ulting, though. Was that up? Nah, it might have been. It was, probably was down. Probably should have actually just waited for the Nami ult to come up, actually, my bad. Yeah, my bad. It's a bit of a rough lane. Definitely a matchup where we kind of have to rely on outscaling, I guess. Like, for sure, like, in a matchup like this, we for sure want to engage rather than Nami. Because I can survive them, but they still have a lot of all-in threat, even when I all-in them. 
Being able to dodge Genados is not enough when getting melt melted by the Volkos. Oh, damn, actually, I should have been able to dodge the minion sooner. There, my bad. <sighs> what are all these gen traps, bro? There, we got him. Nice. And I got shut down. Jesus. Okay, let's try and get this turret. There's a bounty on it. Yeah, I might get ganked, honestly. Might be worth the risk. Ooh. Really? Just one more ult. Oh, that's a Mundo. Let's get out of here. Can't touch on the wards, can I? No. I can tell because I'm pressing on the ward and it's now pathing me towards it. Remember, I can activate my W whenever I need to. Did I not knock him back? Okay, I need to get out of here. Huh. I think I didn't knock him back there. Unless his passive just came up at that moment. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is ridiculous. We're not going to get bot lane help here. I joined this top side so we know there's nothing to do. We just need to leave. I need to leave anyway. I can't farm here without getting killed by Jin ult. Couldn't know that Jin was on Drake. I just kind of had to assume there that Jin was just trying to stand the division, trying to make it seem like it wasn't around, so he could snipe me with, snipe me with ult. And I've now got the gold for us. Got an easier time closing gaps, but it's a bit late now for the lane phase. At least Durga gets to freely push that. I don't know why this one has been here for so long. I missed that, my bad. Oh my god, that damage! Give me up, give me up. Holy crap. Wait, that didn't... What? Now nah, I'm screwed here. How did that... That, uh, Gale Force not, a, not, like, target Mundo there? He should have been in range. Is it only if you dash towards them? Enemy... No, oh, near your destination. I actually never knew that about Gale Force. That explains a lot. You have to... Okay, so you actually have to actively dash towards them, otherwise, no matter how close to you they are, they actually don't get hit by the guild force. It's useful to know. <laughs> Not bad. Probably should have known that ages ago, it's been in the game for like two years. I just figured- I was, all this time I just figured I was getting unlucky when the guild force just appeared to not be in range, just because I was dashing away. But that was the clearest example of should have been in range that I had to double check the passive states. <laughs> Not the passive, the active. Why does she do that? Oh, still gonna end up badly for me though. Yeah. No, but I figured I had Diego behind me and she just wasted her charm so I could try something there. But Diego went to go farm. No, wait, that wasn't Diego. Was it not me? No, there was nobody behind me. Am I trolling? Why did I think there was somebody behind me? Oh, it was Akali initially, I guess. Yeah, Akali was headed mid at least. My bad. Ooh, that was a close one. Holy crap, if he just barely carries this, that's insane. Ah, oh, so close. But he, I guess he can only get lucky for so long. Akali definitely does not win that. This Mundo is a monster. Uh, go, go for us to actually try and kill him this time. Oh, here's Ari again. And the Q hit nothing, that's sad. Let's try and win it, though. What? I don't know why I couldn't dash there. Can you actually not dash? God damn it. Can you actually not dash during the ultimate? I'm sure you can. Was it just barely out of range? Maybe I misclicked a minion there to auto attack? No? Like here, I feel like I should be in dash range, right? So I tried to press RE and I just couldn't dash. I'm sure I've seen enemy Nala's dash towards the enemies. I'm sure it's a thing. I'm sure, I'm sure I've probably done it in this video as well. Oh, there has been clunky a couple of, I do remember it being clunky a couple of times, but I'm never sure if it's just not doable or if it's just out of range, because the range is so short to begin with. Well, my bad. I could have just guild forced it, I guess. Close. An enemy has been slain. 
game will get much easier once we get the collector. The squishes will become much squishier. But now I'm just gonna actually push her as far as I can until somebody actually responds. It's gonna be far too late to try and join whatever fight is going on there, and it's doomed anyway since Vega isn't a part of it, that my team should not be fighting. If I die here for the turret, that would be worth it, but I think they're just gonna push mid anyway. Either way, I'm alone here, I can't do anything about it. I'm only basing now that Viego is coming, but it... I mean, it doesn't matter, like, the inhibitor's already down. Are they actually gonna keep pushing? No, so we'll keep on pushing, we can get more farm out of this situation. Wait, is he fighting? Oh my god, he is. That better work out. Huh, nobody died. That is weird. I could probably be you 1v1. I, well, I'm not sure, because I mean, technically, stylistically, he's a stronger champion 1v1. But I do counter part of his kit, his autos. Doesn't have Q. God damn it, Ari showed up. That sucks. That blows. I really was expecting that to be a 1v1. As far as I could tell, their team had cancelled bases because Viego engaged on them. My bad. Ooh, that should be a Kalanjan at least. She missed the Q! <laughs> what? How do you miss that Q? <laughs> killed them anyway, though. Can't complain. <laughs> okay, nice. Not bad, not bad. Nice. Got like 100 gold from that. Without even needing to be a part of it. Yeah, once I saw Yi wasting his Q, that was the decision maker for me. I was like, yep, okay, I'm fairly confident we should win 1v1 now. We also wanted to use the ult nice and early to make sure that we got it off before his Q came back up so he couldn't use it to dodge our ultimate. Hello. Do I win this? Probably not. No, I really don't win that. He takes zero damage, literally. Oh my god. That was disgusting. Let me see him take zero damage again there. I'm actually considering building Bork for him. Yeah, that is very little damage, and that's even despite the fact that we get so much armor pen from our passive, Q passive. I do. I was dealing 68 damage per auto, and the crits were only doing 118 when he has 4,878 HP. So basically, I would need 48 auto attacks to kill this guy. That's absurd. I think we absolutely need Lord Dominic's this game. Because if I can't kill Mundo, I'm not sure that this game is winnable. Nice one. Oh. Fuck, I didn't notice I was behind them. Need to be following this up. I don't think I can dash during my ultimate, actually. What? Oh, come on, I should have had him there, my bad. I was really trying to dash onto Jinder, and I don't think it was working, and it was definitely in range. I guess you can only flash, like, flash or go force onto them then during the ult. Let me see, so... I use ult. And I'm smashing it. Oh, you can see that your E is disabled. Okay, so the, okay, that explains a lot. Man, this maybe this game was winnable if if I actually knew that, because that messed me up twice now. Fuck. God damn it. Oh well. Why is Akali not trying to defend? Oh well, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Nyla the Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Nyla Senna into Lucian and Mumu, finally facing our first melee support of the video. Because uh, remember, Nyla excels when she's used as, as a counter pick to melee supports. Nice, able to miss, able to force Lucian to miss XP there, and a Mumu. It's going to be hitting level 2, like 2 minions late because of that. 2 casters late at least. On top of the fact that we're just straight up hitting level 2 early. Thanks to Nala. 
I'd rather go on Lucian though. Probably should have cleansed at some point, but I kind of forgot that I had that overcoast. <laughs> oh well, we won the fight. That's one Sana. Damn it, how did I not get that? Probably because the cannon walked away from me and forced me to path into it instead of auto attacking. Bit unlucky, but a well. Let's go ahead and base now. So this is going to be a game where we use Eclipse for sure. The team is full of melees and lower ranged champions in general with this solution. So Eclipse will be fantastic. We're also going to be testing out this time the Ingenious Hunter. Actually, uh, something I probably should have been using all along, at least with Eclipse. It's actually fantastic with Eclipse because it turns uh, Eclipse's already low 6 second cooldown into- I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's like a huge reduction. Where is it? Here. Uh, that goes down to like 4- probably I think less than 4 seconds, which is just a ridiculous cooldown to be having on a shield that gives you like 200 shielding. It's just gonna make you much more durable in fights. Like you may not think that it's that big a deal, but in fights you definitely notice it when you've got this all stacked up. Slowly trying to thin this wave out. Okay, nice. They've about lost their minion lead now. We're gonna be hitting level 4 very soon. Which is not a huge power spike, but it's a power spike. Okay, we're getting ganked by Rexa, we wanna back off here. We could actually lose, uh, win this though, sorry. Yeah, we should... Mm, I could kill Rexa, but it's not worth committing to. Thankfully, yep. So I guess that's not bad. I didn't quite catch... Oh, I had to refill one in the wrong slot, my bad. Didn't quite catch whether uh, Lucian ever flashed at any point in the first fight. So I don't know whether to pay attention to that being... To uh, respect that being up or not. Nice. Okay, we're actually pretty much back to full HP here. Don't know if it would not be two at this state, especially with uh, my cleanse being on cooldown, but... Yeah, you can see, whenever a Mumu walks up to try and do anything, we can always just slap him with a Q. Usually that's not something we can easily do to range champions, so we can get much more Q damage out of lanes where we're facing melee supports than we can in lanes where we're facing ranged supports. Even a short range ADC like Lucian, as you just saw, way more likelihood to be harassing with Q as well. So even when we're not all inning, we're just so much more effective. So ideally, in a perfect world, Nyla would be really good as a counter pick, but not really good besides that. But for some reason, like people don't really respect how good she is as a counter pick to melee supports, right included. So they buff they've kept her in a state where she's good no matter where you pick her. You do not have to pick her only into melees to thrive on her. She works just fine. Picked blindly as well, which is stupid. Ow. Hmm. Shouldn't have tried to uh, bait there. There was nobody nearby, actually. I need more Asana heals. There should be a heal me ping. God, heal me, man. Oh, God damn it. I need flash, I think. Could be good. We'll just play it safe. Ooh, just for leaving collusion. Okay. Nice one, let's go. That was huge. Okay, this time, by the way, I uh, forgot to mention, by the way, I've actually learned my lesson, right? So we, apparently you can't dash during Nyla's ultimate. 
I can't believe it took me this long to know. I've literally probably played like over 20 Nala games in total and I never realized that, but it makes a lot of sense. Oh. And now we know. Now we now we finally know. Our Nala gameplay will be so much better for it. Now I know that I have to dash into melee range of them and then activate ult. Not get close to them and then ult. Need to already be in the range. Unless I want to flash it or guild force it into them. I assume you can use guild force. You can definitely flash. Alright, nice one. Let's go ahead and base here. We got the Berserkers and Shredder Dirk as well. Huge base. Four kills on Tessenda though, goddamn. I wouldn't be shocked if she has more gold than me right now. Then we're currently getting six times three is 18, so 38 item haste. Which will be amazing once we finish this eclipse. In the meantime, it does absolutely nothing. But to be fair, if we add Treasure Hunter instead, all we would have is an extra longsword as well, which is not a huge deal. It's nice for sure, could absolutely cost us a kill or even cost us a fight, although I doubt it when we're this ahead already. Okay, actually, this time we're going to try out the uh, three points in the Anthem Q-Max. Which I wager is probably going to be the best. I hit him. Yeah, this is why I always try to specify that she's not just good into melee supports, but just just good into low-range champions in general. The lower range they are, the more likelihood you can actually use your Q to harass, rather than just for in-combat damage. And of course, she's good into melees because they are the lowest range champions. You can't get much lower range than melee. Ow. We definitely don't want to keep shoving waves into turret though. We ideally want to be able to pressure on all in. Sen is way overstepping there. If she gets a Momokita, I can't help because I understand where I can actually lost hit. And I definitely can't all in if they're positioned here. Oh, my bad. So we're just zoning them from a lot of XP and CS right now. Was he missed the cannon? Come on, Mr. Cannon, come on. Yes, nice. Now imagine how miserable the solution is knowing that he is gonna get outscaled. This lane has not even been close and he gets outscaled. How insane is that? Nala is just not a fair champion. Wait, I forgot I need to dash first. God damn it. We'll go for Mumu first, the free kill. <laughs> okay, nice one. Whoops, I should have dashed onto Lucian first before ulting. <laughs> oh well. Worked out. It's gonna take some time to actually like integrate that habit of now knowing that you can't actually dash during my ult. Maybe not get the turret, actually. Oh well. I think if me and Senna were coordinated there, we for sure could have dove Rek'Sai, but I mainly needed Senna to take aggro. Let's back off now, actually. This wave still will fix itself. 
Should have enough for Eclipse, right? Yep. Nice. I was afraid my recall might cancel there because I was too far away from the brush, but we're luckier than that. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, so the shield that we're going to be getting is 191 so far, and it's going to get higher, and it lost two seconds. And we're So basically, if we get this to a sub... Uh, Sub four second cooldown. We're gonna have a shield every two seconds, just as long as we proc it. Obviously, you gotta proc it first. But imagine the potential is being sh like only being not shielded from this every two seconds. That's crazy. And just like get movement speed every time as well, and extra damage. It is super good. It's decent with kill force as well. This rune, but I think I always think like cooldown reduction is just much more effective on income and stuff because kill force or it's lower cooldown stuff. Sorry, because kill force. You're only going to be able to cast it once per fight anyway. But Eclipse can just straight up carry you a fight if you have lower reduction on it. Or higher reduction, whatever you want to call it. A lower cooldown. I could have even dashed, or uh, sorry, used W to make that an even better trade. He's going to dash now. But neither do I. Got him. What is this? I don't win that. Let's back off here. Nice one though. Oh, hello. I don't have cleanse. This could be a really bad fight, actually. I need to be able to dodge autos. W W. Okay, nice. We should hopefully win this now. No, what? Uh, it was just a Z that got me, I guess. Damn. That was almost all the damage from Umu. God damn. Rex, I played that ter terribly for sure. I should have probably died just because I didn't manage to activate W before I got CC chained by Umu. But she just didn't get onto me in time. But that Amo definitely did more damage than I anticipated. I thought with Eclipse coming up there, I would be fine. Okay, we need to get kills onto Arlen Sol and Yorick to get the rest of our reduction. We're missing out on 12 ability haste. Well, item haste. It's also actually going to be nice to get shield bow as well, actually. Well, I, I think we'll just try out the shield bow third, even if we don't really have to deal with too much burst in this game, just because it feels like it should be efficient, right, with the Ingenious Hunter. We'll have shield bow on a less than 90 second cooldown. Not sure exactly. I, w I wish the game would just show you the updated value, but it doesn't with items, only with ability haste. Uh, sorry, with um, abilities. But obviously we're doing Collector first. Just far too good on Nyla. Does crazy damage. We can probably just duo this Drake, me and Senna. Or I could solo it as well, but I'd rather not. It'll take me significantly longer. Ugh. And cost me more HP. Hello. Can maybe dash into Lucian here and kill him. Ah, uh, Mr. Cannon. Nope. Don't have enough dashes for that. <laughs> uh, 
I don't really feel like basing until I've actually got enough gold for a collector personally. It's a shame one kill would be enough. But everyone is all this babysitting him. I don't have a shutdown, so I don't have to care if I trade one for one here. I can try and flash on him, maybe. Oh, what the hell? This cannon puffing, what? Alright, let's try this. I missed it! God damn it, let's back out. Actually, dude, with that with that eclipse burst, I actually could have killed him for sure. My bad. I missed I missed the Q again because of my knock or my pull. Second time I've done that in this video. Something definitely to improve on. I got cleansed, so I should probably beat a Momo here. Definitely with Santa around, for sure. I hope. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. <laughs> it's actually kind of close. It's crazy how much damage it does. Oh, he has a Sunfire Cape. Okay. Definitely does explain why he does so much damage then. More damage than usual. And now we do Shield Bow. I can finish maxing the E. It is very risky to try and fight him here. Wait, what? Oh, I splashed the UE onto him. Yep, that works that way, apparently. Mm. Can't really do much there. Oh god, I lost so much HP. Uh, no, I need to get out. Yeah, I trolled it. Oh my god, but I'm just barely gonna live. Did not deserve to live, but I'll take it. Still don't have the Ingenious Hunter stacks that I want. I don't really need to leave base with all my HP. I've got a ton of life still at this point anyway. Well, 12%. And I'll have red buff healing. Oh, we got Sonic keys. Thank you. I'll also just go for this while I'm at it. Since all I've pushed in the mid wave, there's nothing for me there. So we want to find farm somewhere else. Now the raptors are also up. I'd also like to steal those. Even more than I'd like to steal my own jungler's raptors. Olaf can just finish that wave, I don't care. I just want the Raptors. We have the map pressure to pull it off. It's not risky. Didn't quite see if he got those, but I hope he did. I'm gonna push one mid wave before anything else. Nice. Not sure I wanted to risk diving in there. <laughs> Could have potentially been a double for me though, well triple, with the kill I already got. So, let's just focus the minions here so I can life steal a bit. Ow. Okay, I didn't. Oh, I did take the shot, damn it. Um. Yeah, somebody should probably take care of that guy. I'm gonna check if the blue is up. Nice one. That Olaf is really ahead of the York, so he should be able to win. Probably won't bother basing until I've got the full shield bow. God damn, this has blocked a lot of damage. What? Look at that. It's blocked 2,000 damage. Ow. 
This guy may actually won't be one of me. Holy crap, I need to run. Use W for movement speed, I guess. Can't risk entering this fight, sadly. We'll go lifesteal. I won't even use Q, because I think I get less healing that way. Actually, do I? I feel like I did get more healing with Q. Actually, I think you even heal off the actual Q itself. <laughs> nice. Wait, I could actually help him there. He's actually going to win that. Oh, totally no. Oh no, this guy's going to 1v1 me again. <laughs> Got him. Get me up. Come on. We got Eclipse. Oh, if I didn't misclick onto a Mumu once, I actually would have put Lucian there. That is fucking Eclipse for you, though. We've since shielded 500 or more damage since I pointed it out. God damn. Okay, the shield bow will go crazy, too. It's going to be so close to combining these two shields together. Wow, this Olaf just barely doesn't kill the Rek'Sai. God damn. Did something. We did. Yeah, when you're just playing... Like, I think if you're playing against a lot of range, you pretty much have to play more assassin bruiser-based. No, not, bru not bruiser-based, sorry. Uh, just assassin-based. So the guild force is better if you're playing against a lot of range. But then if you're playing against a lot of melees, you don't, like, have to commit really hard. You can just, like, more or less kite them. And so you can just play this more bruisery eclipse-based playstyle. Because guild force is better if you just really need to close the gap and one-shot them. Which is the only thing you can do against range, because you can't just... Oh. No. Got him. I'm so screwed now, though, I think. Come on. Got him. Yeah, okay. Best that I don't use cleanse there. Yeah, so in total, I got, like... 700 healing there. So I suppose we could also do Phantom Dancer. At the moment we have very little sources of attack speed. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Hmm, I think I'll do it. Attack speed should be really efficient at this stage of the build, I think. And it'll be 400 gold cheaper than Bloodthirster. Gonna go for the Scuttle Crab as well if it's here. Can also go for the blue. Mundo, you do not need blue. You do not need blue. Got it. He tried. Oh boy. Nico has stop She should have used it there for sure. Oh, hello. I did not mean to pot through the lane. I don't think I want to try and take a fight here. Fuck, I run this local and easily just ignore me, can't he? Away from Tree's Q. He's positioning really safely before he does it. 
Oh, hello. Hello, I didn't notice this. Okay, nice. I'm full HP. Ow. Ow! My god, that damage. That's a lethality, Yurik. Good to know. Okay, so that's about a 63 second cooldown of shield bow. Hopefully that makes it less wasted. I'm gonna go heal up, I think. I just want to fight, man. It sucks that they're just giving up objectives without fighting for them. For now. No! Nope. I auto the turret there once instead of finishing him. My bad. Fuck, that blows. Was my, yeah, my W was just barely not up as well. That sucks because if my W was up here, I could just ignore the Lucian completely and not have to dash into the turret range there. But because, because Lucian can actually auto me there, I ca I'm kind of forced to dash into the turret there just to try and avoid his burst. That's also why I flashed away there where I did, but god, that should have been the kill. My bad. Anyway, we're gonna have a lot more attack speed now. Oh my god, we still don't have the full engineer center, by the way. Should have even more reduction, but this Yorick has barely been part of any fight. It is Yorick, right? Oh no, it's Aurelian Soul, okay. Damn it, that would have been a stack then. I fucked it up. <laughs> That's fine. Doesn't really matter too much if they get Drake. Bro, the dramatic objective bounty sound always just makes me think, Oh my god, my team stole it! Nope. It's just for dramatically announcing their bounty. Attack speed is crazy now. Two point ten if I've got Q and Phantom Dance are fully activated. Out. Jesus. Oh, there's still one. God damn it. God damn, Yorick, I hate this champion. I did not get to do anything. I was just being zoned by Yorick the whole time, and now the team is pretty much chased. <laughs> Got him. There we go. Ow. Yeah, we do heal off of that. Does it apply life still? There's so much tooltip here, man. Whatever. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Nylat Diamond. This game we are going to be playing. Nyla Brand into Caitlyn Pike. I believe they are leashing, so let's hit the minions once. So the minions just switch over aggro for no reason. Hopefully this... Well, this didn't work out quite right. I don't know why they got dragged. They should have just switched focus for a second and then switched back into the minions, which is a bug in itself, but... That's good. I don't know why she's walking. Oh, no, I'm running cleanse. Fuck, this should have been ghost. I don't need cleanse against this matchup, my bad. Yeah, anyway, at least we got a ton of free damage there from killing walking into melee range for some reason. We can just run dash on her here. Can we back off now? Come on. He doesn't have E. There we go. Perfect. Took forever, but we get there eventually. Probably cost us some XP in the process, but it will. Well worth it. An ally has been 
Damn it. There we go. Let's shove that in. Missed a lot of farm for sure. I only got 9 CS when we should ideally at this stage have... Uh... 18, I believe. No, 19 actually, if we had perfect CS, but oh well. Still got a big lead over Caitlyn. Maybe not in CS. But definitely in gold. Even in CS, actually, I'm actually ahead. Uh, just very slightly. If I manage to miss a 0 CS here, then I've got a clear CS lead. Yeah, I think once again we're gonna go for Eclipse this game. We're facing a melee support. So once we finish it in lane, it'll be easy to proc that for some poke on the pike. And we're also facing the Mundo. Um, well, not the Mundo again, but a Mundo again. Eclipse will be great against him, I, th I believe. Because that guild for sure was useless. <laughs> and the last time we did guild for us against them. Thankfully this time, like in the in that the last time we faced a Mundo, like Eclipse would have probably been better for him. But the entire rest of his comp like was better for me to use Guild Force. It was a bit awkward, but this time it's actually a pretty good comp for me to run Eclipse into. So that's nice. I'm not griefing my build anymore. I have a clear wind condition path here. Hmm. Needed to be way quicker with that combo if we wanted to stun Pike. Otherwise, the most reliable thing would have been to just try and go on Caitlyn, because Pike is too slippery. Okay, nice. We managed to dodge the headshot. Ow, how does that still stun me? Damn it, I'm dead. I accidentally put a point in Q there, my bad. Oh well. Damn it, that is really awkward I got stunned by the Pikey. I feel like that shouldn't have hit. I feel like I played it really well overall. After dodging that kill and headshot, there should have been no chance we lost that fight, really. It's only because I got stunned and hit by another trap. I even insta-dash, tried not to get rooted, but I did. And because I got rooted, it just, the dash just condemned me. Close. Yeah, it sucks. I guess if I just juked it just slightly sooner, I would have actually dodged it. Why is Viego here? Damn it. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was gonna hit me. Well, I wasted a dash here. Oh, okay. Just gonna dash to safety, I think. Actually, I thought Viego would be around, otherwise I didn't see the point of fight going aggressive there. <coughs> Yeah, we're pretty hard counter to Caitlyn based off the fact that uh, even if she lands a E or a W, we just activate W. And we just completely cancel out the headshot. We're also playing into Pike Again, a melee champion. We love playing against melee champions as Nyla. We've already done so much more damage to Pike than we would have done to, like, a Nami or something. Definitely more damage than we would have dealt to a Valkaz. So we're chilling. We've also got Brand who, despite having no synergy at all with Nyla, is still like nice to have in the lane because he can match the Caitlyn's range and exert a lot of pressure by himself. I think mage supports are probably not really bad with anything. Since they can just kind of 1v2 lanes. They don't want a base here, do they? I'm gonna start shoving just in case they do. Looks like they actually based. Okay. Again, as mentioned in a previous video, this plating is so far away. As much as as tempting as it is to actually just uh, go get the plating since it's already kind of low, uh, the travel distance from here all the way to that turret is a lot. It's a lot of time that I could have just spent getting my recall off and getting into lane faster and missing less farm. I would have I would have gotten that plating if I had to sh if I was shivering in the way from like here maybe even here but from here it's just so much distance to walk you may as well not bother you can just get it at another point. Okay, we're about a full level ahead on Caitlyn. That's kind of crazy. Almost at least. Once I get all this farm. If I get all this farm. Should get at least the XP. Rage in your 
your prison, demon. I am in control. No, wait, I forgot. I can't dash during the ultimate. I'm trolling, man. Okay, we should be able to get her here, though, I think. Got her. Okay, it doesn't get the stun off. That's okay. I uh, won't bother turning back for that caster. We're just going to kill this wave. This time I am absolutely getting this plating. Nice we did an AoE. Which means I don't get aggro. It looks like he's gonna get that. Pike is gonna cancel my base because he's annoying. Let's get this honey fruit if I'm gonna have to potentially stay in lane anyway. Literally one wave and I get my eclipse anyway, so it might be worth it. Okay, we corrected the skilling order. Oh. Three points in Q and then we maxed. Yeah, three points in W. It's, no, three points in E, sorry, and then we max Q. Just get a headshot. So if I take this trade, I want to activate W immediately. rather not drop a cannon wave if I'm gonna base. Would only pay off if they just don't shove it in ASAP. But they have the wave card to do so. <clears throat> this could be good. Nice. She wasted her dash, she's fucked. Nice one. I wanna get this cannon. What? How did it die? Maybe it died to brand. Is that gonna burst down hard somehow? But I didn't see anything hit it. Should also be able to get this... Plating. Maybe even two platings, actually. Yeah, that should be doable. Nice one. That's a lot of gold to base on. I just wanted 200. I ended up getting... 1500. Just a little bit more than I needed. I guess I'll sell this. Yeah, I miss a wave for going for that second plating, but it's a solo plating, so I get more gold this way at least, even if I miss out on a little bit of XP. one. Anyway, it's nice that Nyla ult apparently heals off of minions as well. I noticed that in the fight earlier where I filled my ult. Nice. That was just too easy. Hello. Ooh, that is unlucky. Look at that eclipse shield, not even close. So we acted because in that fight we're not afraid of getting burst down. We use the ultimate first. Then we use the W, because we don't want the knockup to overlap with the dodge period. It's only if you're really afraid that you might die during the ultimate cost, or that you're going to take far too much damage, that you want to activate your W before your ultimate, or during it. 
Ah, uh, um, uh, fuck, I was gonna cast my recall. I was gonna say I should actually stay to make sure Brand survives if they engage in him. Brand should have run this red line. There's no chance he survives now. He went from only dying if he gets hit by Pike Hook to dying guaranteed. Without puffing. Oh, wait, I got dragged right into a trap there. Kill him. Wait, I'm so screwed here though. She's just gonna ult me and kill me. The Eclipse Shield! Wow. No way. Oh, come on, the minions are just back enough so I can't heal off of them now. Eclipse Shield again. I actually... I can't believe it. Oh, no, no, no. I screwed up. No, the minion block as well. Fuck. My bad. I just needed to dodge that W. It was, or that Q, sorry. It wasn't even that hard. That was crazy, though. You see you see the value of the Eclipse Shield now and why we get this um, in Genus Hunter as well. It's so good. Such a good combination. Get him, Brand. Oh. Uh. Actually, you know what? I swear. Great Cloak has to be more efficient than Pickaxe and Nilo, right? I don't know that for a fact, but it just feels right. Her Q damage goes up. She obviously just gets regular crit, which is always nice. She gets 5% armor pen. She gets 3% healing in combat. Surely it has to be worth... Nice. She can't fight me. She can't. She has to respect. She has to respect me. She can't respect me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did think a Nala video would be more boring than this. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Especially once I've worked out some of the kinks, like not being able to dash during our... Should not have put off this champion for so long. Alright, let's go ahead and base. Or do I want to go bot first? Nah. Home guards are up as well, so should hopefully get the bolt in in time. Oh, and we get another quick look. Would be a hell of a risk for Miss for Caitlyn to try and farm this as well. Like ideally, what Yasuo should be doing here is just flanking her. Like he is just completely not punishing this. This is a huge overstep from her. When Yasuo was in a position to flank, and he just doesn't. Same for Kane potentially. Except he also wasn't even, isn't in an even better position, I mean. Oop, damn it. Come on. Oh, god damn it. Okay, that is one kill. Ah, damn it. I can't get Pike though. Sucks. Hmm, my bad. Yeah, I was surprised by Viego. I, d I honestly I didn't even notice his E. Because otherwise, I would have just started backing off here. I think I got mixed up because it's like, it fits with the pike aesthetics as well. <laughs> Just assumed there was pike related. Not bad. Guess we got the kill in though. Alright, so my- Oh, actually it wasn't even that big a shutdown, surprisingly. Not bad then. Um, what are we getting here? Actually, I never even thought about what, what I wanted here. Um, 
I think Bloodthirster is going to be fine. So I guess we may as well just wait for this now that I've waited this long. <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go. <coughs> Gonna be some amazing end combat sustain. The moment we're getting... We have... Well, we have 12% lifesteal. 2.5% omnivamp from the Doran's Blade. And 7% in combat healing from Q. I believe that's all. Oh, and also Conqueror, potentially. 8% healing from that. Okay, nobody's in position to contest, really. Nobody important, at least, that like the jungler. So we just give that. Brand? Should be careful there. It's gonna be fairly silly if it dies there. Hmm, <laughs> he is lucky. And he still had the blow flash for it. Leave the wave, leave the wave! Oh, kinda of might have lived. Technically... Oh, I'll try and peel Brand with my ultimate. Perfect. Oh, he's gonna die to Brand. Unless... Nice. Love it. This is the one champion my cleanse is useful for this game, by the way. Size like Diego W, which is almost useless. No, come on, the Pike deal. God damn it, my bad. At least I got Pike now, though. And I maybe have her too. Just barely got in the range. Perfect. This champion is a monster. Oh, hello. I already know this guy's trouble from one of the previous games. I don't have W off, otherwise, I might actually be able to do more, sadly. No way. Oh my god, that is crazy that I left there. What? I was so sure I was doomed already. But it's the Eclipse, man. It's so good. I'm gonna base now. I've got my item. And another Crit Cloak. Awesome. We just keep basing on that. Well, this Mundo is definitely no threat of Mundo from the previous game. Definitely no Lord Dominic stood out needed for this one. Ooh. Eighteen hundred damage blocked from Eclipse. Like it's definitely a lot more about this the tankiness than it is about the damage. Close. It was almost a good trade. Are the wolves up? No. Is the red buff up? I think it must be up, considering how much vision we have in the area. Surely somebody must have seen it was if it was up or not, then it must have been up. Nice. Nope. Ah, couldn't reach anybody there because I was rooted. Fuck. I was expecting the one shot pike there, not for him to escape and stun me. My bad. So close, man. <laughs> My E damage just didn't hit him. Just barely. Anyway, I think we'll do Zeal for some attack speed here. We don't need armor pen. We don't re really need even more survivability. We just need more damage, I think. So we can make full use of our sustain. Oh. I mean, we could also just try out the full sustain build. 
You know what? We need we need to try that out at some point th during this video for sure. You never know when the need when this situation might arise again, because it should be all right in this game. So we can do bloodthirster into shield bow into ravenous hydra. Should be good. Nah, this pike is too good at peeling, man. I don't dare jump on her when Pike is around, or anybody else for that matter. Let's get it. Oh, hello, Mundo. Damn, I can't see him. Uh, Brent? Damn, I can't kill that. Well, that's fine. Look at how quickly I heal that. What a waste. You mainly want to ult people with no sustain and not no shields, as uh, as Caitlyn. If you're if you're ulting somebody who's full HP and who has fucking thirty percent life steal, then that is just worthless. Get the scuttle crab. No adversary is too powerful for you. Reactivate W so we can block some burst once he hits that. Come on. Fuck me. My bad if I just killed her sooner. My bad. Uh, I also probably could have dashed away, actually. Oh my god, he got so much healing while he was beat. <laughs> but he just really dies, right? Yep, nice. That was a panic cleanse as well. Pure panic. <laughs> that pike hook ruined me, actually, because I was about to slaughter them with AoE, but I got pulled away. I think he also made me miss my Q, potentially. No, I had something at least. But damn it, I thought that Lux would die to that auto. She was really close to dying to Collector there, you can see. Then it forces me to chase her again instead of turning on Viego, who was bursting me, so if I had killed him slightly sooner, I might have been fine. Uh, damn, I'm so close to Shulbo, but I need to go out and get something. Get some farm. I mean, you can take that wave, really. I just need the next wave. Oh, wow. Okay, well... That's awkward. I should have noticed he was about to take a turret. Damn it. it, it you know, I was hoping this wave would, like, come here, which would make it somewhat worth to venture off for it, but... Oh, hello. Maybe I can just go Mundo. I'll try without W. Yeah, it's not even close, is it? Oh, I, I parked Eclipse there twice, by the way. <laughs> That's funny. Twice in one duel against one person without any disengages. <laughs> Okay, we have the Ingenious Hunter fully stacked this time. Do with getting red. Hopefully they're not just rushing Baron. I don't think they would be, but my team needs to be more careful than that. We saw four people head towards Baron and only one person head away from it. Okay. It's looking less and less likely, but I still want to be absolutely certain because there are some ridiculous Baron cheeses that have happened to me lately. Okay. Nice one. I'm not gonna be able to kill her. I could maybe just flank these guys though. I'm so sad I'm using cleanse this game instead of ghost, by the way. I missed my Q. Come on, bro. Why is this pike so good at peeling? I can't reach them. Ooh, I could have actually reached Lux there, though. Wanna heal. Oh, no. Got him. Oh, 
Fuck off. That was my shield block and I left still. Please leave the minions for me to left still off of. God damn it. It could easily get me killed, but it's like people always do it. Like they're so selfish for CS that they will deliberately just like risk somebody dying because and not let them life still just to get from themselves. Okay, nice. Ow, ow. Let me just get out of here. W is actually also useful escape tool since it does give so much movement speed. It actually goes up. I can I could tell there that it was higher than it used to be. <clears throat> I'll just build vamps up there for now and also get a red elixir. Our sustain is gonna be crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to be around Drake area. Kane should be rushing over, not doing Gronk. Hello. Dead. Oh, we cancelled the Pycock. Perfect. Well, that was a huge mistake from Caitlyn. That guy's not going to try and solo Baron, is he? You know what? I'm going to head over just in case. I can't imagine he could possibly solo Baron, but you never know. Plus, he does have Mundo topside as well. It could happen. He's actually trying to solo. I don't think he was going to succeed, though. Fair enough. We need Kane to rush over now. Kane? Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're just going to flip it then. The Kane gets in the pit. At the right time or not? Alright, you didn't. Perfect. Oh boy, he's beating the Yasuo. The one of four Mundo. I'll use W to get on him faster. Oh, is he gonna execute? He's gonna try. Huh, he must have had a vision somewhere, but he's gonna die to Yasuo, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, now I'm level 18. Yeah. I've established a clear uh, pattern for when you want to build Eclipse and when you want to build Guild Force. Clearly, it's just very situational. Guild Force for ranged. Eclipse for melees. Especially tanky melees. Them's the rules. It's not just one is better than the other uh, at all times, it's just situational. Both can be equally good. But I will say though that probably Eclipse into melees is probably better than Guild Force into ranged. It's just that into ranged you have to run the Guild Force, you're forced to. You have no other choice. But Eclipse really lets Ny uh, Nyla's natural playstyle shine. I bet you I could flash on that killing on one shotter. Should I risk it? Wasn't quite a one shot. God damn it, that was so close as well. Oh well. Now let's get out of here. Probably butchered that combo though. Oh, actually, I could have just flashed on it with ult. But then that that's not the, quite the one-shot that I wanted to test, though. I wanted to see if uh, EQ auto would do it. I think it was EQ auto auto that I needed to do. Oh, this Mundo. This asshole. I'd like to save this in if possible. He's definitely not getting the Nexus, but... Ah, it's gonna be too late. We should be able to get him, though. Nice. 
How much armor pen do we have? 33% and 30 lethality. Not bad. Oops. Yeah, I can go for that farm, I guess. We actually should be pushing top. Oh, and I want to stack my around the side now, of course. I can't believe you get 95 AD from Bloodthirster right now. It's so crazy. Oh boy, it's gonna be a lot of people after me. I ah, can't one shot Pike though, because I guess he's seed by his Q at the same time. Ah, uh, that's not good. Let's just cleanse it. Mm, and you know what? I probably would have been fine. I got so much sustain anyway. I don't care if I get chunked. Like 30% HP. Look at that. Not even two autos and I'm full HP again. Oh, hello. Nice one. Uh, without ult, I can't really threaten Caitlyn too hard here. <laughs> without Gil Force. Ow, ow, ow. I wanna hit this next wave when it shows up so I can heal up. Okay, now we're getting soul. That is a lot of damage for just a Q on an auto, I gotta say. Got her. <laughs> no, no, I wasted my dash. Okay, got him. Ow. Ooh, that flash. Yeah, I mean, Enchanter or no Enchanter, this champion actually just does feel insane late game. Like, she's... It's like I said, she's an all-rounder, but she's just over-tuned at all stages for now. It's stupid. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Nyla to Diamond. This game, we're going to be playing Nyla Lux and the Misfortune Maw Fight. Potentially starting off with the cheese here. I might actually level E if we're getting to... No, never mind. Okay, cool. That's fine. Ow, got that bounce. My bad. Alright, let's try and match their level 2 here. Or even beat them to it since we get more XP. We do have Lux actually like stepping forwards and doing something here. She should be pushing as much for level 2 as I am. I'm gonna struggle pushing here. Okay, we hit the level 2. Let's go in. Dash out now. Just go to Moffat instead. Damn, I missed. Okay, we'll disengage now. Ooh, close one. It's kind of risky to hang around on this HP now, for sure. I'm going to be hitting level 3 once again before them, though. Thanks to Nala's passive, where we get extra XP. I was ready to give him my life for that cannon. Okay, level 3 or not, we're probably just gonna have to base here, I think. This could be a really good base timing, though. Okay, if that Q actually landed, I think I might have just cancelled the recall to try and fight there, but... It didn't land, so we're just gonna finish the base. Misfortune's out of mana, so they won't be able to shove this too fast. They also didn't really 
like it didn't really register to them that they're actually based there. So I don't think, yeah, I mean the Moffat at least is not trying to crush this as fast as he can, so I won't miss too much from here. I'm gonna use W just to get into the lane faster, a little bit faster, we get 15% movement speed from that. Nice. Just playing a safe there, making sure I get all the farm. So we actually have a 2 CS lead over Misfortune, which is not bad. If anything, we might be a little bit behind in XP, but I mean, because of the Nihilus passive, not really. We're actually just straight up in the lead right now, despite getting off to a rough start. I can't remember if we managed to burn any flashes or not. I don't think so. We might have actually burnt the luck, the misfortune heal though. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is gonna be another game where we do eclipse. Since their team is three melees. God damn it. Luck should definitely be having a lot more pressure on the lane than this. She's doing less damage than Malphite is. And Malphite does not have Comet, so he's not playing a heavily poke-based playstyle. But he's even- he doesn't even have any AP at all, what the hell? She needs to be playing way more aggressively. You actually was funny. <laughs> so she asked me a champ select. What support do you want? What's good with Nyla? And I was like, ooh, nice, a flexible support, love to hear it. I, saw, I said, ooh, kindly pick Yumi or Tarek, please. If you're not good at Tarek, you know what, you can just pick Yumi, she's easier. It's probably fine, also really good with Nyla. And she said, I can't play either one of those. And in my head, I'm like, you can't play Yumi? Yumi is too hard for you? You ask what I, can, what I want you to play, and Yumi is not an option? And she goes, I can play Lux, or I can play... What was the other one? It was some other mage. And here we are with the Lux support, playing more passive than the pre-level 6 small fight. I swear to god she could have first time Jimmy and it would have been a lot better than this. I don't know what she's so afraid of, but uh, I mean, it just means we're gonna have to play really safe here, sadly. As much as I would like to be playing aggressively, since I am now against the melee support. Although I can engage at level 6, we're about to level 6 very soon. Right now already. They were already backing off though, that's really annoying. Yeah, we don't actually get to do anything sad. Definitely, Lux is not in a position to engage. I'm getting another dash soon though, and we know they're not gonna be hitting 6 yet. It's a little bit risky because I don't know where Dana is, but I'm gonna risk it. Oh, I didn't have the dash yet. Fuck, I'm trolling. Gonna pop the ghost? Yeah, I actually can't turn around here. My bad, I completely forgot that I didn't have my second dash yet. <laughs> I was meant to wait for the dash before going in. Fuck. That was so not worth the risk, but they were not in position to actually do anything about it, even though they should have been. Alright, I might just get away with basing again here, we'll see. Oh, hell- oh, dude, my bad. Fuck. I was just beginning to wonder what Moffat was doing there, because I was thinking he might be about to hit level 6, and that that's why he was standing so far forwards, but no, he just wanted to get vision. Fuck, that blows. I was even gonna cancel my base there. To actually go for the farm. With ultimate, I could actually even maybe pull Misfortune to turret while she had aggro. Because they were obviously gonna try and dive me there, but I didn't expect the Diana. Not bad. Misfortune's out of mana, so we want to take advantage of that. Let's, let's just wasted the last of her mana. Come on, go in! I've, I've run out of pings. Bro, come on. 
Oh my god, so close. Let's go. Okay, nice. We got one kill. Sadly, I didn't get the kill on Diana. Oh well. I almost could I, I almost actually got some like splash damage on her there, but I wanted to focus misfortune mainly because if I didn't, she might run out of my range. Oh, I actually want to know what Lux's damage in this lane has been, by the way. I'm not sure she's actually hit anybody yet. <laughs> Wait, I can check. I mean, she does have a lot of gold from that. I don't know how I'm just not seeing her deal damage or what. Oh, they both have ultimates. Is Malphite just gone? Battle. Yeah, he must be. Misfortune is playing really safe now. I could try and base here. It's a bit late now, though, compared to doing it before, but... Don't touch the wave, don't touch the wave. Alright, Misfortune is not shoving this as fast as she could, so I should get away with this, but I might just miss farm to Lux instead. She can take the loss hit, I don't care too much. I just, I like, I really don't want her to use E on the wave, which Lux supports have a tendency to do. So I'm going to keep pinging back on the wave. But yeah, you can see Misfortune doesn't realize that I'm actually gone, so again, she just doesn't shove it in as fast as she could. Lux needs to flash that. She did not. Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, pretty poor. He was obviously going to flash there. Or, sorry, ult there. Oh, I can't really do much. Use W just to take less minion aggro here. Suddenly I regret selling refillable. <laughs> oh, she's actually staying as well. Wait, I'm actually gonna die here, maybe. Holy crap, that was close, that was close. I thought he would- <laughs> He has a sheen! Why the fuck does he have a sheen? No wonder he's so bursty. I was gonna say, like, yeah, I was assuming you would have no damage. Yeah, let's not die to Dana the same way again. I need to just base. I fully expected her to have based there. <coughs> I guess I will get a potion. Nice. We got one. One minion. No way they're still staying, right? Surely. I'm gonna shove it fast and maybe Misfortune will be better into cancelling her base. Because she, she should surely have a lot of gold to, bait, to spend. But no, she actually based, I guess. It's this Malphite that just refuses to leave lane. I'll go do something useful like Rome. I'm really far down in CS now, though. The only thing our lane has is kill threat, and we're, like, obviously Lux plays far too safe for that, so I just I end up having to give a lot of farm. We're never really getting anything in return for it. Ooh, that could be good. I missed the Q, I'm terrible. Come on, oh, god. Okay, maybe it's for the best that it didn't go through then. Where's Malphite? I think the move here is to just try and dive as fast as we can before Malphite has a chance to show up. Oh, too late. God, I was actually inside the ultimate? How is that possible? Ooh. No way, that's so fucking crazy. I'm sure I left the ultimate and then... But no, Malphite knocked back... Or Malphite ult is a knock up, not a knock back. 
Yeah, look, I was out of the ult I was out of the misfortune ultimate, and then I got like knocked back in. Unless I just never managed to leave it. But I'm sure yeah, look, I left it. That's so crazy. Okay. Guys, you now know. Malphite ult is a knockback. Confirmed on this video. Well, that sucks. He's back already. Okay, at least Nessus is huge. <clears throat> Bring me more foes to defeat. Where's my fight? Probably in a brush. We're also playing against, I guess, uh, one of the ADCs that we counter the least. Especially with that lethality build. Because she gets a lot of damage just from her abilities. There we go. Got him, let's go. Now we finally get something done. Thank you, Kane. Uh, and leaving Piz ends right before I would have finally finished my Eclipse. I guess you don't really need to rush Berserkers as much in melee lanes though, like melee support lanes. You could just try rushing the Eclipse. See how that power spike is. <coughs> I don't really need the plant, I'm just gonna recall anyway after this. I'm gonna recall. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that Dana goes a little bit tanky. Cause that would be perfect for my Eclipse playstyle. Okay, Nessus is going back up. How does a NASA stomp a Cassiopeia of all things, actually? I mean, Cassiopeia probably should have gone... Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, phase rush would at least keep her very safe in certain situations, but at the same time, she'd be wasting it a lot while she goes to harass him. But then again, if you just play around the phase rush cooldown, it must be easy. The matchup. She should have definitely run phase rush, I think. You just have to give up that threat. That threat is bait when that uh, herald is there. Uh, bad ultimate. Nice one. Whoa. Ha, <laughs> nice one, Kane. No way. Still got ghost a little bit longer. I want to try and ah, kill him before it runs out. Oh, no. There's no way. Damn. A lot of near kills there, but nothing. Just a Dana kill. Ellie got W. Does she have mana? Oh, she does. I couldn't tell because of this objective's bounty's text being in the way of her mana bar. <laughs> Looked like she might have been out of mana. Look, I'm giving her shield back. Kinda hard to tell though, cause she gets shielded anyway by her own W. Might as well just farm this wave and leave. Or actually, no, 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 they're all rotating. I think I get a free window onto the turret here. This wave collides in such an awkward spot though. These casters are not under turret, so yeah, what a disaster actually. <laughs> I'll just get free farm instead then. 
Yeah, look, the entire wave dies, and I pretty much had zero chance to actually hit the turret there. Oh, well. We'll just leave. Well, actually, how close am I to being able to get two components here now? I would need... 1475, which I'm 200 gold away from. Clearly they have vision here, though, which is annoying. I'm not going to be able to get this. They have a clearer... Um, window to just collapse on me there now, since they know. So I'll just leave. Reactivated W, so we take very little damage here. Nope. Damn it. He dashed away from me right as a press star. Ooh. Nice. When I need 100 more gold. Ugh. Hopefully at least I never got that. I think Rado might have got it. Alright, I have enough now. Blue buff, someone take it. It's a good point then. I don't need to go for Botland farm, so... <laughs> no, I think I never should keep on pushing. It makes more sense for me to get it because I'm coming out of base anyway. I never would have to turn around for it. Oh, and there's a red buff for me too. And it ran out. Let's go get the red buff. <laughs> okay. Okay, they finally shut down Nessus. Maybe I can go for misfortune here. Ooh, these have vision, I think. Oh, yeah, they definitely have vision. <laughs> can kind of zone misfortune there, I guess. How much else I can do? I can't. Definitely can't advance there just to get flanked by misfortune. I swear you could Q wards. Maybe I imagined that. I was just thinking of Zeri. Nice. No God, no devil can stop me. Okay, they're gonna do the Drake. I mean, they sh Well, I guess he also does defending. We got Nessus around though. We can definitely 1v2v4. Uh, Actually. Cassiopeia ignores my W, I need to leave. Eclipse shield. God damn. But where's the Nessus and Lux? Come on. Ha. Ooh, let's uh, dash away to be safe. Ah, I'm actually gonna die in the end. Nice try. That uh, That is insane that I just was 1v3 though, when I was fully expecting that to be a 2v4 then... Or 2v3. Then Nessus joins me, and then Lux joins me. Or rather, Nessus would join me from the start, and then Lux would join. Let's see. Nessus just went to far mid, bro! What the hell? Lame. That certainly explains why it took them so long to actually reach this. They never even got him reached to help me. Yeah, I don't know whether I prefer pure Emax or three points of knee into Q Max, but definitely both of them feel a lot better than just pure Max and Q, I think. Uh oh. <laughs> Misfortune two levels down on me. Oh come on! I thought these minions weren't a turret. Close. Why? Why take the cannon? 
She even walked away, so I was like, yep, she's letting me have the cannon. No, my support takes the cannon. But she has 35 farm, actually, cut them. Uh, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Now, why did I do that, though? I'm just dead anyway. I'm trolling. Oh, but I almost took her down with me. Fuck. I'm so close. I should have just ulted immediately to CC the end of her a little bit, get a little bit of healing, and maybe that buys me enough time to get the flash over the wall. I think we can do a shield both right here as well. The team is fairly bursty between the Yasuo, Misfortune, Diana, and even, I guess, Cassiopeia, sort of. <clears throat> and sort of Malphite. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice fuck, I should've gone top. Okay, on the bright side, she's gonna kill our turret, so the turret won't kill the cannon. Nice. The minions might. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it, that sucks. We're just going to keep pushing top. Whatever's going on here, I'm obviously too far away to be involved with that, so we just push as far as we can. Maybe go for their jungle camps off there. Or if they're actually still distracted by the time I hit their turret, then we go for their turret. Just depends whether I think that's safe or not. Also, I mean, people are reviving anyway, so uh, yeah, we're just going to have to leave that. Just going to have to assume it's not safe. Let's not waste our time walking over just to walk back again. We'll just go straight for their camps. If we see that people aren't actually going top and they're actually just going back bot, then we go. But yeah, then is there. Maybe I can just try and kill her. Most people are just going bot anyway. Where do you think she's going? Not there. Oh, she is. Pop W for some magic resist. Wait, I gotta use ult to CC her. I fucked it up. Should hopefully live here. Yeah. Unless her ultimate finishes me here. She has collector, so her ultimate actually could. Oh, she's actually gonna chase me down though. She's misfortune. Actually, mm, if I could get W in time. No! I hesitated and that just barely got me in range of that, my bad. Alright, Drake is about to spawn at least. And they got no jungler. Why are they pinging each other? I like how there's been nothing said this entire game except blue buff. Uh oh. <laughs> what is that Anivia doing? Surely she must have had cooldowns. Some kind of cooldown. Surely. No way Malphi lives! What? He won't. There we go. Wow. Okay, we won the fight. Good effort from all of us to win that fight. Okay, no, you can't queue those. I don't know why... I think you can queue stuff you can't. It's the queuing turrets that throws me off. You can queue turrets, why not wards? Why not plants? Cannot risk it. Oh. Weird. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. You, you, I'm just CC'd. Damn it. That was so unlucky. My bad. 
I should have just ulted the misfortune. I should have committed fully onto the misfortune. She was a lot squishier than Yasuo and less mobile. Um, I could sell Doran's blade for a shield, but I guess that's worth it. <laughs> just go and malfight. Yasuo is not going to be able to turn without dying, so just go and malfight him when we want him. Oh, well. Yeah, it's bizarre that fucking Malphite had more lane pressure than Lux, even though he's outscaling as well. The sort of stuff that shouldn't happen unless your champion is broken, and Malphite is not broken. Or you have a really good matchup as well, but... That is not a really good matchup for Malphite. In fact, that should have been a terrible matchup. I can get Malphite too. Got him. Nope. <laughs> I think my E just barely didn't do damage there. Yeah, I want to take all that misfortune ASAP to get her ultimate out of the way. Even though there was somebody I could have got without flushing. GG. That was a weird game. Victory. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Nalit Diamond where I just accidentally ran into Leona. Guess I'm safe though. But uh, sure would have preferred not to lose all that HP. Wow, that blows. My bad. I was not paying attention. I was about to <laughs> check OBS to see everything was right before I started the stream. Uh, not the stream, the video. Even the smartest thing to do, but I just seen Leona uh, skirmishing with my Nautilus all the way up here, so I did not think anybody would be in that brush. Leona was rushing down and Jin was already in there, so it was really awkward. Ooh, nice try. Wait, how did that miss? What? I swear, I swear that looked like a hit. Careful, Nautilus. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, at least he baited the flash. That was the worst time to try and go for a lost hit, bro. He was not aware of when they were going to hit level 2. For the record, it's after what the first mini wave and then three melees. Oh, I need to flash that. No, I'm too late. My bad. <laughs> oh, what a disaster, man. <laughs> oh no. I got it started with me, but goddamn. I shouldn't have died, and neither should have not listened. Uh, he never should have died the second time, at least. <clears throat> should have been a decent matchup, too. Uh, Nala should be really good into Leona. I can even use my W to block the Leona Q. And then we've also got Nautilus to engage onto Jen in case we actually need to get close onto him. Okay, they kind of overstayed here though. They should have already based and looked to spend their gold. With any luck, we can cancel the bases again. Nice. Well, I just want to dash out of here. Oh my god, I'm locked down for so long. We got W. Shaco, Shaco, Shaco. I think we win this. Finish him, finish him, finish him. I need the triumph, I need the triumph. Thank you. Huge. Okay, we win this now. I don't even mind. Let's go. Thank God. And that's why you spend your gold, guys. Never would they ever have lost a fight like that if they had spent their gold. 
They were fighting at an advantage there because we were down in HP because it was, you know, I was caught in a bad position. But I'm Nyla. I have the advantage by matchup. Barely able to turn that around when they should have just spent their gold and then they would never lose a fight like that. Alright, this time we're going to try the full Eclipse Rush. No Berserker's Greaves. Not this. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so definitely a shame that I didn't get any kills there. Even just one kill so I could actually get us a rated Dirk instead of just double longsword would have been really nice. Uh, but that's partially on me that I didn't actually time my lost auto right. Because I saw the Shaco coming, I knew he was going to use E. I could have just waited for uh, the E to connect and then use my auto to get the lost hit. Ow. Ow. I'm not great at dodging those. Don't know how. Because whenever I play Jin, enemies are really good at dodging it. And I'm decent at dodging skill shots, but Jin, do Jin W is just my weakness for some reason. I'm gonna react to it for shit. Oh. My bad. She couldn't even stun me there, though. That's sick. Could have been a much worse trade. And the great thing is that Leona E doesn't even actually, like, properly actually, you know, it, it roots you, but it isn't, like, it isn't, you know, the, the kind of CC that blocks your abilities. So there's no CC chain where you can't activate W, like there is with a bunch of other CC chains. You actually have all the time in the world to activate W against Leona. It's really nice. What? How did that hit? It's just a shame that I'm lowish people before this lane even began, though. It almost makes it harder to win a fight. We're actually up an XP on Jin though. On both of them even. It's crazy. We're actually up in farm slightly, so that makes sense. Well, she doesn't have Q, so. Damn it. Oh, that's a enemy buy, you're kidding me. No, that's so unreal. She's gonna live as well, this Leona, I think. Yep. Dude, that was so unexpected. I saw somebody behind us, I thought it was our jungler. Oh man, that's so tilting. This should have been a good fight. We almost killed the Leona. In a 2v2. I should have cleansed, actually. I, it was really good to cleanse her just because I was queued by Leona. Obviously, it's really telegraphed if she's going to E onto me that I can just W to block her Q. But if she's already in melee range, and I, like, I don't know what the Q cooldown is, right? I don't know when she's going to use it, so that's kind of hard to react to. But I could have removed that stun with a cleanse, and I could have also removed the Ignite. It would have been a very high-value cleanse. Definitely should have done that. I don't know if it would have saved me in hindsight, but, uh, you know, without the knowledge that I was about to get flashed on by Vi... It was a very smart... I should have cleansed there, it was just too smart not to. Okay, at least we still have the XP advantage. The lane isn't completely fucked. Lena's roaming. We should be looking for a kill on Jin here. This Nautilus is oblivious. He wants to try and match the Lena's roam instead of actually trying to kill the Jin who's alone. You know? Stupid. I'm trying to push as slowly as possible, just in case Nautilus actually shows up. Ow. Okay, here we go. Just go for the hook, just go for the hook. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's just go for it. Ah, uh, I'm still gonna die here, though. No! Uh, somebody flashed there, I'm, I'm assuming that was Jen then. Damn it, just one Nautilus Q would have been all it took, though. To turn that around. Blows. But it also took far too long to get into this lane. He should never have left it when we saw Leona mid. Okay, for some reason Jin is not taking advantage of the wave. Uh, am I right? No, it's actually looking like a bad wave state for me anyway, though. Whoops. <coughs> what is the point of engaging there? <laughs> Like, even though he's lower HP, she's not going to kill him, and she's, 
like facing a bigger wave than he is, so she loses the trade. She did not benefit from that. Not to mention she might have been ganked. Oh. Should I have cleansed that? I feel like I probably should have. But we'll see. I can probably get away with it though. Mm. No, we want to disengage. I don't have W. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, nice. We actually managed to save our flash by walking down to the uh, from beyond the via, and then we can dash upwards. Buys us a little bit more distance than walking purely up. Okay, we're gonna just buy boots now. Ah, this is such a painful matchup, man. If, if like if not for Vi's intervention, we probably would have turned this lane around by now. We're obviously not playing. We're obviously not playing it perfectly. But I think we definitely played it well enough that we should have been. Even now, if not if not for any jungle intervention. Okay, so I'm assuming Luna's actually based, but she's she's so many times. Oh, actually, they're on Drake. Okay, that makes sense as well. I was gonna say she's she's a bunch of times already. I wouldn't be 100 percent sure she's not just in that brush, waiting to cheese whoever tries to punish Jin there. actually basing? I don't think he should be. Yeah, he isn't. Let's go play some vision. Or clear some vision? They don't have a pink. Okay, that's a Kali. He just placed that trinket, man. Come on. Unless he's not left yet. Oh, he's dead. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, Vi is here, but not remains to ult yet. Okay. Oh, I wish Akali had just left. She just zoned me for like 4 CS. Okay, 3 CS. One of them wasn't a melee actually, so that's nice. I would not be so confident pushing when we just saw them recently bot side. Did Jin actually base? I think he did. Fucking hell, bro. I'm CC'd for so long, man. Okay, at least he's dead here. No way. Nice. Oh, I was so close to getting the kill for myself, but it will. Nice one. Okay, like, you can see, these, this is such a one-sided matchup that as behind as we are, as low as I was, we still win it. We just land anything on Jin, and it's just done. Unwinnable for him at that point. No matter how low I am. Which is why it's so sad that this matchup has gone the way it has. Oh. If she has ult, I'm dead anyway, so I may as well fight back. Yeah. Just to get her lower. And maybe she can't throw that Nautilus, but nah, she's gonna get him. Unlucky. Okay, we got Eclipse now, at least. Grand match Jin's Mythic. Should be especially good against Leona's engages. Even just does poke against Leona, it's gonna be pretty good. I don't know where Leona is. Could be roaming or could, you, could just be doing that brush cheese. <clears throat> Actually, I don't really want to push. Definitely not until Nautilus is here at the very least. Okay, I see Leona. Oh. Oh, okay, that was pretty clumsy. Oh my god, no way he actually lives. What? Did you actually base? Yeah, he. I guess he did. He probably has stuff to get. Well, Swifties to get at least. Ow. 
fine. I suppose I should have used W in hindsight. Just because the W would the cooldown would have come back up by the time I need it anyway. So it would have just saved me a bunch of HP. Could be good. Oh, okay. Nautilus maybe got some? I guess not. If he gets the aggro, we can actually dive with the Nautilus ult. But <laughs> he needs to commit, man. Like, now I've wasted so much time that I could have spent shoving. He should have stayed in the flank position as well. I think he could have escaped easily if necessary. We can't dive now. Obviously. <clears throat> wow, what is Jin doing? No, this just blocks all of this for me and there's no way I die. <laughs> he tried to cancel the Jin ult when it was obviously just better to go and Leona there to kill her. But he accidentally hit her, which is good. Okay, now we should be able to dive him. I'd recommend just going away first. Oh, he did not need to take that aggro so early, though. That is so bad. Oh, god damn it. No, oh, I'm not gonna get him. That's so sad. He fucked it up so bad. All he needed to do was not take aggro until he actually started hitting him. Come on. Okay, yeah, I got him. That's worth it, I guess. Because now he misses out on all this farm that he would have gotten to turret. Easily worth it. He missed basically a wave and a half there. I don't miss farm. Yeah, I, I, it's very unlikely I miss like a full wave here because this is a cannon wave. She can't really shove that in. Perfect. Yeah, I think I do prefer the Eclipse Rush if, I go, if I'm facing a melee support. Especially if I got an engaged support as well. Oh boy. Okay, we got the turret. Come on. Damn it. I wish I could have blocked that. Can I help there? I can, but it's so far away as well. Might as well get this way first. Ah, oh, damn it. Of course, I don't have vision, so I can't kill her too fast. Okay. No, oh, wait, fuck. Ah, I actually completely wasted my W there. No, if I just waste, if I just uh, save my W, I had a really good fight there. I think I could uh, AOE them both, heal off of it, burst at least one of them down. My bad. Wasn't Vi a lot lower than that, though? I swear, when I looked over, she looked low. Yeah, she was like half HP. Look at her HP there. Compared to when I randomly find her again. Actually, it's not even the higher, actually. I guess it's the shield that I was thinking of. Nice one. Yeah, I just kind of insta-pressed W when I saw Vi Q, just because I was worried she would have flash and she would just flash Q me. And then if I don't W before the Q lands, then she gets to land E, then... Oh, so, sorry, she gets to land auto, then E auto. Before I get a chance to press W and then I just get one shot. 
This was sad I couldn't just kill Leon and Jin though, I was super close. Wait, what? Oh, I'm interactive with W there. Really good old backup. Okay, she's dead. No, you're kidding me. Wh why would she even... Zanya's there. It didn't make sense. I wasn't... Oh my god. Let me see that again. I mean, I guess she might have predicted the flash. I think it's more likely, though, that she thought the ultimate was in range when it wasn't. God, that's sad, man. Fuck. I think Vi appeared at the same time, right? Oh, no, no, no. I definitely had a window to see Vi and call it off. That's on me. <coughs> Either just didn't notice her, or I just tunnel visioned. What a messy game, though. At least we're not getting stomped, though, like I was worried would happen. Like on bot lane, I mean. We've actually had a somewhat successful lane, to some extent. Did he see us up on Jin? Even if I'm not on pin kills. How do all of these hit me, man? Come on, Shaco. Nice. I missed my Q, because she dashed. Oh, whoa, no way! That was so satisfying, holy crap. God damn. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking there. God, I'm so glad I figured out you can't dash during that Nila E. I was ruining my first few games. Nice. Okay, you know what? We'll try out the Lord Dominic's third, and we'll see how it goes, because this is the most common Nala build. Maybe it's for a reason. Like I said, I've not played too much Nala before. Maybe it actually scales really insanely well with her Q passive. We'll find out. Personally, I cannot see it being better than the defensive purposes of Bloodthister or... Shield Bow, though. Unless you're actually facing a lot of tanks. Or one super tank like the Mundo from before. This red buff is actually destroying her. Uh, who is this? It's gonna be a Kali. I missed. I think I got her. Not again. God damn it, I just wasted my Q now. Got her? Can play it slow? Okay, I'll actually just not fight at all now that she's ignited me. She should have ignited way sooner. That healing reduction could have saved the fight. I think they're all a bit distracted still. Can try and bait Leona here. Wow, she just wasted her thing though. Oh god. Ah, I didn't even get the Eclipse Shield. It probably would not have saved me anyway, to be fair. I was a bit unlucky. Like, it made zero sense. Like, look what's going on here. Anybody who was going to, uh, like, you know, come out of base should have been going top. That's why I stayed mid. Because it didn't make sense for anybody to do that. Let alone the one guy with a global ultimate. The one guy who could have screwed me, actually. No matter what range I saw him from. Sad. I mean, when I say let alone, it's not like he should have been the last person to do it. You know, it's just unlucky that he was the one person that chose to do it. Is there anybody else except for maybe Vi, I guess? If they showed up on my screen, I could just walk away.
<clears throat> uh, I guess I'll just farm some bot side camps. What is this pathing, bro? <laughs> pick somewhere and take me there. Because there's not much farm on elsewhere on the map for me to take. Actually, there is a fight though. Maybe I'll just rotate to this. We'll see how it goes. Damn. Mm. Well, Vi has no ult, right? She's about to Q as well. Got him, and that's a big shutdown. Well, I won't bother trying to flash her or anything. We'll just leave it at that. I don't have W, I don't have ult, but we won't bother for trying to fight Akali. We can maybe farm a wave though, but... Let's just go for this Drake. Also, what is Leona doing here? Oh, I managed to time my W just perfectly. I read her like a book. Ah, fuck. Hang on. Gotta cleanse just to kill her, sadly. Kalium Vagar. I think not. Especially not without my W. My W is 25% uh, magic damage reduction, so that's actually really useful for fighting them. Even if do the dodging the is obviously kind of useless, except for Akali's autos, I guess, with a, with a passive. No way, he actually dashed through here. No way! Oh, hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know, like, the Drake was gone, he should have had the notification, I don't know why he kept walking forwards there. Alright, let's test out Lord Dominic's. Mm. Can I do this? Yes, I can. This is gonna be better than BF Sword, I think. And this is rather shield or bloodthirster. I guess I'll do bloodthirster because I'm surviving for quite long in these fights, and the longer they drag on, the better bloodthirster is over shield bow. Shield bow is better for the like really short fights where you just get burst down instantly. We obviously wanted to try and help you avoid that. Keep accidentally, well, not accidentally, but I keep hitting my keys on her. Nice. Well, she's invisible. <laughs> okay, we'll buy us back up. I want to heal. That's why. I just activated W. She can't follow it up. Oh, come on. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> okay, there's a ball and wave here. We can push this through it now. Oh, as for the Lord Dominic's, I honestly had not, I had forgotten about it. Ooh. Come on. I got CC'd immediately. What was that? Yeah, honestly, like, I don't even notice it. I, mean, I guess I kill Leona faster, but that's about it. I don't think it's worth it for the rest of them. I don't see any reason why Lord Dominic's third should be default on Ella, but I mean, you know, I didn't get to test it too much. I won't cast too much judgment, but it's not my recommendation. Anyway, that's all the time we had for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the builds. Do you like Gale Forest? Do you like Eclipse? Do you think I should try out Navoria in the next video? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, gamers.